<clears throat> All right, what's going on, everybody? So we're back again for Strictly Comics, and we are here for affordable auction. 44. Let's see if we can keep it affordable. I think that we can. We'll see what happens tonight. Uh, I want to thank everybody who's already in the chat. Uh, I'll let Justin give you guys a shout out here in a little bit, but I'm just here to get started and going over the all the fun stuff, the rules and everything. Uh, if anybody's jumping off for the first time and doesn't really know what we're go what we got going on over here, it's a auction on YouTube. And uh, we come here to sling some comic books, kind of cut up with the community, and just uh, just try to have a good time. So, um, but that being said, really, before we get into all this, uh, give us a thumbs up if you haven't already. We do want to get that algorithm kicking and try to get notifications and stuff like that sent out to all the subscribers and anybody new who you think might have interest in coming in here. We're going to have a good uh, panel, great lineup, great books. Y'all know how we do it. Um, but let's go ahead and just get the rules out of the way. And uh, I'm almost close to putting all the rules into the video description, but I got a little something different in the video description today, so this week. So I think in the future we'll get all the rules and stuff. But that being said, this channel and this content is not for children. You must be 18 years or older to bid on items in the auctions, at least in this auction. I think every auction. Shipping costs may vary. Sellers typically offer priority, first class or free shipping, and it's going to be like a case-by-case -case for international shipping. Speaking of international shipping, uh, I think most of us are willing to ship worldwide as long as bidders understand that shipping costs are likely to go up. Uh, we usually have a three- to four-minute timer. Um, there is a lot of lag with StreamYard. It's typically anywhere. It's at least 10 seconds that I know of, and I've heard it as long as up to 30 seconds. So... This is not really the platform for sniping. We we do just ask people that if you want to bid on something, just throw in a bid because we are not deleting under bids anymore, at least not in my auctions. Um, when it comes to bidding, uh, when the timer is done, only one person has placed a bid on an item, and that one bidder wins the item. Now, in overtime bidding, this is what happens when the timer goes off and there's two or more bidders on an item. Then we go into overtime. While in overtime, anyone can still bid, but after everyone has folded, then the item goes to the winner. Uh, now, we also do $100. Uh, well, once we get into $100 or more on any particular item, we're going to $5 uh, increments. Uh, you guys can bid a dollar, $2, $5, however much you want, up until we get to 100 But once we get to 100 we got to do $5 increments just to kind of speed things up a little bit. Uh, after you fold it when you are bidding, you can no longer bid on that item anymore unless the seller adds additional books or items. And we do get a lot of that. They're called builder lots. Uh, if the seller adds any other books or items, and anyone can bid, including those who had folded. If you are a first time bidder, someone who we are not familiar with, we may ask you to pay immediately please don't take offense to this okay the purpose is to keep trolls from wasting time of the sellers the bidders and others within this community okay we just it's just the respect there we're trying to put, put some respect on it so we ask that you guys do the same thing uh okay so you still have their paypal email located on the bottom left hand side of the screen but it is also located in the video description below. You're going to have to kind of scroll a little bit to get to it all this week. But all of our IGs and uh, Instagram or e email information is in the video description below. Um, we do ask that you guys send all payments through PayPal uh, as uh, uh, friends and family. Uh, or add three percent for the goods and service, but we do prefer that you add that you just pay friends and family. Uh, we kindly ask this to avoid any red flags from PayPal and to avoid paying any fees. I cannot emphasize this, um, uh, you know, anymore. But we don't want to pay fees, and you guys don't want to pay taxes. You guys are, are are exempt from paying taxes on these YouTube auctions. Now, you want to buy stuff on eBay or Amazon, that's on you, but you already know what that's like. You're going to pay anywhere from, you know, 10, 20, 13 percent. How, how much the percentage is for taxes over on those uh, platforms. Uh, and then finally, uh, after you want an item, please email your real name and address or message the seller on Instagram 
so that we know where to send it. It's just to avoid putting a whole bunch of information in the notes of PayPal after they start to see a whole bunch of friends and family transactions happening throughout the night. So we do ask that you do that. Some of the sellers are, are fine with it, but I think for the most part, a lot of guys just want you to uh, 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 IG your real name and address or email your real name and address. And I think for the most part, the guys typically will take a screenshot or just confirm audio or confirm in the chat that payment has been received. So that being said, I'm going to go ahead and uh, introduce our panel. But first, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. Uh, you're going to want to do this just because I post a lot of really cool stuff. And I tried to post things and get a little bit of information and stuff out about the auctions prior to doing the auctions because uh, it's just a lot easier to do a post on IG rather than doing a video, right? Of course it is. All right, so you see this fantastic panel lineup. We're waiting on Huda. Huda's going to be in here uh, a little later, but I'll go ahead and start with the guy who was here first, Adrian. Adrian, say hi to the uh, comic book community. Why, hello, comic book community. I'm Adrian. You may remember me from such films as Bees, Owl. And um, yeah, anyways, <laughs> good to see everybody. Uh, good to be here. Thanks for having me, Strictly, of course. And, uh, you know, we have a esteemed panel tonight, all these scholars of comics, <laughs> at least they pretend to be. Um, and uh, yeah, so let's, let's, have, let's have some goodies. I got some goodies. And then just so you guys know, everyone who bids on my stuff tonight, you will be entered into a little contest. You get a list. Thanks, babe. <laughs> Uh, in either way, to everyone who, who, every one of the winners of my auctions, you'll be entered to win. So, cool um, beans. Right. Um, Adrian is our A-lister, uh, so uh, make sure you guys respect him and his uh, celebrity status. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna move it. <laughs> we're gonna move it along to uh, Justin from Hotlanta. Uh, he's also a writer on comicbooked.com. What's going on, Justin? What's going on? Good to be back. Uh, good panel. A lot of people already in the chat. So excited to be back for another awesome affordable auction, which everybody, I'm going to try to keep it on the more affordable auction level tonight. So just, you know, trying to bring it back for one auction anyway, and then we'll go crazy next week. But yeah, just excited to be back. See what cool, everybody cool. got up. All right, appreciate you being here, man. And you and your beard. All right, we'll move along to Adam. What's up, Adam? Hey, what's happening, everybody? Hope everybody's uh doing all right tonight. Uh, enjoying their last little respite before uh, another uh, week of work. So uh, yeah, hopefully you have some uh, good books for y'all tonight. I got a couple of lots and then a couple of slabs for buy and owls. All right, so, uh, cool. Thanks yeah, a lot, Adam. Um, and I'll go to CLG. What's up, CLG? Hey, what's up, guys? Hope everybody's having a fantastic Sunday night. Uh, I'm excited. I'm ready to roll. Got some good stuff for you. So let's get it started. Absolutely. I agree. And I think this man couldn't agree more. He wants to get it started. Harold, what's going on, man? Hey, thank you, Edwin. Good, good to see you again. You guys in the chat. Uh, great panel, as always. Now, because it was free comic book, comic book day at my LCSs, everyone who gets wins something from me will get some free comic books yeah, included in their box. So um, I was able to take a good handful of stuff, and so we're going to do that as a you know, nice little thank you for everyone. So hopefully we can get some good books for everyone. All right, thank you. All right, cool, cool. I like the haircut too, by the way. <laughs> All right, before Justin kind of goes and acknowledges people in the chat, just ask that you give us a thumbs up already. Um, also, at the bottom of the screen, is going to be scrolling all night. Just a reminder to everybody to please pay friends and family. It may say someone you trust. Uh, we've been doing this now for how long, Justin? At least, uh, what, six, seven, maybe eight months now? Yeah, since we started back. Yeah, what was it, November or something like that? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, I think we're pretty trustworthy. So we do ask friends and family. Remember, you are not paying any taxes. That will be going at the bottom of the screen all night long. So I'm going to turn it over to Justin so he can say hi and uh, acknowledge people in the chat. And I'm going to get ready with a couple of things. All right. Let's scroll. Back. Oh, I got to go. 
I got to click live chat. So everybody remember to click live chat because I actually forgot to do that. <laughs> so scrolling back up. <clears throat> and before we even start, I think Edwin stepped away. But Rob Boswell gave us a super chat for $10. So thank you so much, Rob. That will, I think, strictly just throws that all into the Heroes Initiative stuff. So we really yeah, appreciate so. that. Yes, let me uh, thank you for that reminder. I appreciate that. Yes, there it is. What does he say? 44 is his favorite number. Okay. Well, thank Maybe you so much, Rob Boswell. We're on affordable auction number 44. Oh. Wow. There you go. Cool. Mm -hmm. I feel like I lost a lot of people in the chat, but here we go. Here we go. Running down the chat. Uh, we have, I did see before we went live that Jesse, Mr. JLS Comics himself, uh, said first, and then that changed. So I don't know what happened. But hello, Jesse. Thanks for coming by. Uh, we got Dark Ranger 7. What's going on, man? We got Ruben Gomez. What's going on, Ruben? Uh, HAQ, is that how you say it? Says, what's up? Happy Saturday. Thanks. Huh? No, AJ, hack. Hack. Okay. Well, there you go. Hack. Thanks for going. Thanks for coming by and seeing us, man. We also have Azriel and me, three three zero three. I know. I got to know the story behind that name sometime, though. <laughs> uh, we got T Pain here. Who else? We got. Who else? We got. Who else? Discovery Maybe he's a He Man here. and a cat lover. He Man fan and a cat lover. But it's Azriel. Isn't that the cat's name in He Man? Or no, uh, that's Smurfs. Smurfs. Sorry, so maybe he's a Smurfs <laughs> fan. I thought he was talking about like Azrael, Batman, and Azrael. That's true too. <laughs> see, we need to know. Um, let's see. All right, keep on going here. We got poor boy Jeffrey Stoder. What's going on, brother? G Rep is here. We got, we got, we got Mike the Collector. Thanks for coming by, buddy. Oh. Steven Spock is here. The man, the myth, the legend, and his dog. Uh, let's see. Who that is in the comments? What's going on? Who that? We got Baz Clark with us tonight. Wolf Blitz is here. Thanks so much for coming by, Wolf Blitz. We got Dwayne Scott. What's going on, Dwayne? Uh, collectible paper is here. No, you didn't win yet, but you can win, brother. Uh, let's see. Who else we got? We got Comic Book Champ. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Larry Hoover is here. We also have Chris Boomer. What's going on, Chris? Uh, let's see. Who else we got? Who else we got? Comic Book Flipping is back. Thanks so much for coming back, brother. Uh, Rock City Comics is here. Ooh, Underground Thundercat. Yes, sir. He, uh, he's he's under, underground. <laughs> All right. Uh, Dwayne asked Edwin, though, where's the balloon? Did it finally die? Because that thing has been hanging around yeah. forever. It's been like six forever. weeks. I mean, it's like helium doesn't last that long. I don't know what you did to it. Um, it has, it's, it's not on the ground, but it's, uh, it's getting pretty close. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Uh, let's see who else we got. Who else we got? Dig it in here. We got Bat Fan 1974. What's going on? He says it's his birthday and he's got some money to spend. So happy birthday, Bat Fan 1974. Appreciate you coming by, brother. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, here we go. Now we're scrolling. All right, who we got? We got C Squared is with us. Thanks so much. Bruce Zayas, Dr. Zayas is with us again. If you CK is also with us. Thanks so much, If You CK. Uh, we got Polka Dot Peach with us tonight. Joseph's Comics. I might have said your name before. Who else have we got? Who else have we got? Who else? Spectre Comics is here also. Uh, Officer Joker's with us. Sith AF is here. Who else we got? Who else we got? I think I think I got it. All right, we're caught up. Thanks so much, everybody. We got 62 watching. We've only got 32 likes. We need some more likes, everybody. Got to get us to 50. We need like 20 more likes before we can even really get started. So hit the like button and let's get going. All right. And uh, while, while people are getting, getting the likes and more people are kind of coming in and stuff like that, I'm going to actually go ahead and get us started. Um, it's going to be a little bit different for me tonight. Um, we do got seven people on the panel, but this is going to be the only thing that I'm going to be pushing tonight. And hopefully we can get a push and raffled off. Uh, before the end of the show, um, I have here a Venom. How do you say that? Ko Koto B B Bakaya? Yeah, there you go. Uh, okay, so we're doing a Venom statue. Uh, as you guys can see on eBay, this retails anywhere from like 250 to 300 uh, I got 20, $20 spots, 17 spots. One of them is already sold. If you go into the video description, you can see the spots that are available. All of them except for one are available. If anybody is interested, claim the spot. I'm actually going to take about two minutes 
each time I show this and hopefully we can get it all filled up real, real quick. And then I will just be your host the remainder of the evening. Um, but I'm going to take just two minutes and try to sell a few spots. Uh, like I said, if they fill up tonight, we'll go ahead and raffle it off tonight. I already got my random.org set up and I'll share my screen and we'll do all that stuff. But it's a very, very nice statue. I just don't have the room for it. Um, I really don't. It's actually, ever since I've gotten it two or three years ago, I showed it one time and maybe twice in a couple of videos, haul videos. Uh, but other than that, it's just been sitting in the box for like pretty much most of the time that I've had it. So if anybody's interested in this Venom st uh, statue, it's going to be $20 a spot. And I got 16 spots still available. Like I said, go into the video description below. It's uh, right there at the beginning, and you can just see what spots are available, and you can just go into the chat and say, hey, I want this spot, I want this spot, and I will populate your name, and then hopefully if we get them all filled up uh, by the end of the show, we'll go ahead and raffle it off. It's big. It's, uh, oh, God. Um, well, here's what I'll do. I'll show you this right here. To give you an idea just how big it is, I can take it out of the box if you want to, but here's the box. So that's how that's how big it is, okay? So, so it's probably about like a twelve inch statue, like height wise. Well, like let me see if they the got the acting. do they got the dimensions on here? Like six scale maybe or Koto Bukaya Kia. Yeah, it's an expensive statue. It it resells for like it, it got up to four hundred at one time during the movie. Um and it's number sixteen eighty eight out of three thousand. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's very limited. Nice. Yeah, so there's not a lot. I Good job, Spectre me. Comics. I was waiting on somebody to do that. So, that's that. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it could be Dark Ranger. I'm really not sure. I'll, I'll look at some dimensions and stuff while, um, while everybody else is doing their thing. So, I'll move along. Let's just we'll just do Adrian. We'll we'll get Adrian up and then we'll go to Justin. All right. Well hello. No pressure starting yeah. first. Okay, right. <laughs> um, so we got this here. This is a uh, this is a this is a book and a slab. We start now. We start now heavy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wait to wait. First appearance of uh, the the new lambs. Uh, CDC 8.0. This is going to be a buy it now, buy it now, well, buy it now and shipped at 750, which is a steal. So, mm. if you're interested, do buy it now, FF. And yeah, and if you do want to buy it now, I'm going to do this as goods and services, just because it's a bigger thing. So, all right. And then, in the spirit of the Venom statue, let's do some Venom. I got a, I got a couple, a uh, couple books here. I got a, yeah, here we go start this this little lot here it's three books i'm gonna start it at 20 bucks we got venom number six this is the black and white nico mm -hmm. is on. Mm -hmm. and then we got venom first host nice 300 hello variant <clears throat> and then we got this sweet little puppy forget this is another virgin variant hold on what number is this Number 12. So this is Venom number 12. All right. And that is starting at 20, guys. This is a nice, beautiful little lot here. All right. $20 starting bid. Nice Venom lot. I guess I better put it on timer, huh? <laughs> Keep hanging. Appreciate that, T-Pain. Hey, Kevin Cleaver. Must be new. Our average world went to 21. T-Pain's at 22. Okay. What's up, Chino? Hello, Chino. Hello, hello. Nice Venom line here. 
Yep, good old Philip Tan. Yeah, you are correct, Rob. For the number 12. So what's the first one, the, the, the sketch one? What's that one? Uh, this is Venom number six. It's the black and white Miko Suyan. I think it's in there. It's one of those names that we like to butcher. It's probably not. It's never that hard. <laughs> and you know who? You know who that is. Everybody knows who that is. And again, like I said, this is... 750 ship guys, Fantastic Four, 45, CBC 8.0. That's on the side there. And another reminder, everyone who buys something from me tonight, you're entered to win this cool little Star Wars lot, including first appearance of Doc Ant. We're, we're win this lot just to be entered into that. <laughs> right, like, all right, I win. I can maybe win again. <laughs> right. Put my name on the wheel. Yep. Thank you again, Rob. You're like my encyclopedia of comics. Did my mic cut out? Nope, you're still there. Okay. <laughs> Rob. Yeah, I, 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 that sounds about right, Rob. You know Venom. for the coffee. I could go for some coffee right about now. Yeah, I had some like an hour ago. I could probably use some more. <laughs> Always a good time to get some coffee. Coffee is good. <laughs> coffee is my drug. All right, I can see Asian and Lars trying to spend money before he makes any. He's the high bearer at 45. Who else is in this average world? I think it's just two of them because T-Pain folded. If you see K, it was at 30, but I don't think that did he, did he fold. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so. Oh, okay. There, there you go. All right, so average world or anybody else, does he want to go 46 to keep it going? Right now, HM Law has it at okay, so average world fold. So I guess it does go to HM Law for 45. So Congrats, class, sir. Yeah. All right. I'm going to touch up on uh, IG later. That's fine. And then, Adrian, you might want to just uh, edit your bottom left hand uh, uh, of the screen and put your email address, your PayPal email. Oh, sure. In the, yeah. in the bottom left hand side, and we'll move it along to Justin. Sounds good. <laughs> Me. Okay. All right. So, starting starting at a dollar, because we're going to start at a dollar, because it's affordable auction, right? Uh, starting at a dollar for a nine book lot where every book has the word infinity in the title. How about that? Every book, nine books, infinity in every title. Infinity Gauntlet number one. These are not complete sets, but 
Uh, Infinity Gauntlet number one. This is a a near mint copy of this one. Um, <laughs> nice. I, I thought it was lower until I pulled it out, and then I almost didn't want to sell it. So Infinity Gauntlet number one, uh, missing number two, but we have number three, number four, five, and six. But we're also going with Infinity War number one and Infinity Crusade four, five, and six. If I can keep books from falling. So like I said, starting at a dollar, nine dollar shipping. Nine books that say infinity. Crisis, infinity, earth. That's right, Kevin. <laughs> or the, or the, the, what is it? The Hickman infinity run. Oh, what did he do? Didn't he do the one that was just called infinity? It's like a six or eight book. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Or that Hickman? I don't know. I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, you're going to make me look. <laughs> Three squares and a dollar. Sans Inc. is back with us. He's at five. Thanks so much for coming back, brother. Uh, Bears Rockin' Comics is also here. we got Taylor Winder. Don Dizzle's with us. Oregon. We. Uh, I'm. We am. All right. It was Hickman. Thanks, Baz. Hey. It was Hickman. Hey, Hickman. And it was six books. How about that? Amazing. Get one right every once in a while. Hey. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, so we'll run back through them again. So you're getting Infinity Gauntlet except for number two. So you got one, three, four, five, which five is just a cool cover because you have like all of those powerful characters just chilling on the cover together. Uh, six. And then we go Infinity War number one, which I can never remember if Crusade or War was first. I think uh, it's War. War was first, Crusade yeah, was last. Yeah, Crusade. All right. So I, had them, I had them in the right order. And then with Crusade, you're getting four, five, and six. All in high grade, um, which there was one book that I didn't like. Now I can't figure it out which one it was. Nope, wrong set. So all these are high grade. Remember, remember when this book like spiked like crazy for a while? <laughs> yeah, it went nuts. <laughs> I remember seeing sets of the uh, that at cons going for like pff, over a hundred bucks or like oh, yeah. 150, 200 bucks. Just craziness. Didn't one of you guys had number one signed by somebody? I sold a I sold a uh, nine six signed by George Perez. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. And I still have a you sold that a to me. Did I? Yeah, I got it. I got it on my wall. There you go. Um, it all works out. Uh, I got a nice high grade number one ungraded in the box in there. So, I definitely started trimming down the signature books a little bit. So average will is our high bidder right now at 24. This is a steal. I know. It's a deal. But that's why we do it, man. That's why we do it. That's oh Carlos. Carlos jumps in at 25. They would pay a hundred if you had number two. Oh yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean I can go pull a two, <laughs> I guess, but I don't wanna <laughs> I'll find it. I'll find it. I'll get it, guys. For, no problem. For enough money, I'll find it too. That's right. I'll find it too. I know which box it's in, but that one's that one's that was the PC set. Mm -hmm. <laughs> C squared back in at twenty six. You want some infinity awesomeness? I mean, this is two infinity and beyond because you got two series after the first one. Carlos back in at thirty. It's a battle. CLG thirty five. See law folds. Steven Spock. I CLG. <laughs> that's the, like I said. That's the way I felt. Like uh, Mister Unknown, he had an auction a couple weeks ago, and I felt bad like bidding bidding against anybody because I'm like, oh, I'm I'm like friends with everybody. I don't want to. <laughs> <clears throat> it's 
square folded, sans folded. Let's see. Average Will, what you thinking, brother? Average Will says, I'm thinking 40, and he throws it down. Thank you, sir. You got three down. left. You got three left. CLG, Average Will, and Bola. Oh, let me change this up. Run back through them just so y'all can see them one more time. So, one. Three, four, five, and six, and then Infinity War number one, and Crusade four, five, and six. Carlos at 45. Thank you, sir. And since it's nine, since it's nine books, I will throw in a mystery tenth book to whoever wins it. It's a mystery tenth wow. book. I'm not going to tell you what it is because I don't know what it is yet, but it'll, it'll be a fun <laughs> book in the box. <laughs> Average will holds. Um, so it goes to Carlos. I haven't heard the time. No, no, he didn't. Oh. He hasn't okay. for yet. He has not. Sorry. He did now. <laughs> oh, there you go. Okay. <laughs> Good deal. Good deal. All right. Congrats, Carlos. All right. So, Carlos. I just want the mystery book Tacoma. Well, you got to be enough. <laughs> um, all right. So, uh, who, who won it? Who won it? Carlos. Carlos. Mm -hmm. So, PayPal is down here in this corner. So, it would be 54. 54 total. And um, go ahead and you can send me this. You can send me your address on Instagram. I guess that's what everybody's doing. If you want to send me a message over there, uh, Exile State Comics. And these will go out tomorrow as soon as I get your money. All right. All right. Congrats, Carlos. Move along to Adam. All right. All right. Uh, so I'm going to start this off with I hadn't figured out how I want to build this lot yet. Um, <laughs> I'll start this off with a Silver Surfer lot and kind of random Silver Surfer. And I've got uh, a couple books that can be added depending on where it goes. So, first up, we've got Silver Surfer Annihilation number four. Nice uh, Del Auto cover. We got Silver Surfer Black number one. You can't really see that, but that's Silver Surfer Black number one, the uh, sketch cover. Number two. Number three. Don't ask me why number four is not in there because I can't find it. Um, number five. And one shot. Prodigal Son, I think it was a one shot. Uh, Silver Surfer, great Galactus cover there. So it's gonna be nine dollars ship. Sorry, ten bucks. And if it gets high enough, I've got a couple other books I can add. All right, timer's going. I'll be right back, guys. So again, we got Knowledge number four, just sick cover. Silver Surfer Black. These are all near mint. Number one, number one again, number two. Number three, number five, and the Prodigal Son one shot. I missed the Prodigal Son storyline. Was that all about Franklin or? Uh, so there were like three different Prodigal Son books with different yeah. people. Like there was a Silver Surfer one, and there was two other ones. I don't remember. I didn't get them all. I just yeah. Um, I I just remember there was a Fantastic Four one. And it seemed like it was Fantastic Four related in some way. You know. Yeah, probably. I just got this one because I loved the uh, cover. Cover. Nice. So. All right, King. Thanks not, for tune. I cannot say that I uh, read it. Unfortunately. Yeah. No, I got you. But I mean, so that Annihilation book by itself is awesome. So. Oh yeah, and uh, the um, do, 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 do. Let's see, we got Philly Born Twenty One SC. Is it fifteen? Thanks for coming back, Philly Born. T Pain's at sixteen. Um, so I do have two books I can add. Either one of them would I need it to jump up. Quite a bit, though. Um, let's see. This is one, two, three, four, five. What how many books is this? Seven books. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, is it 16? Uh, if somebody wanted to get it to $55, yeah i'll throw in another copy of number one silver surfer black number one i'll throw in this uh Ooh, that, oh. joe jusco uh variant or virgin mm -hmm. obviously an homage to silver nice. surfer number four yeah but i needed to get up quite a bit for that to go in so a 55 or what did you yeah. say 55, 55. That yeah right. J JMT, right, it's, it's in. It's in. Yeah. Dang. Nice. Thanks. Give me that book. That's All right. right. <laughs> and this one just doesn't fit with the rest of the collection. Um, it, but so if somebody wanted to add uh, another, I don't know. Uh, if somebody wants to get it to. The LE is at 65. All right. If somebody wants to get it to 100, I'll throw this in. What, what? Silver Surfer number nine. It's probably, yeah. a, it's probably about a, maybe a fine, uh, it's probably about a fine copy. Five, five, maybe. I'll just be safe with that. So, so if it's so fun, I'll throw that book in. But right now we're sitting on sitting on these. Right now, sixty-five to DLE, T Pain folds. Good job. Let's see. Let's see. And if I find some by some miracle, find number four, I'll uh, I'll put it in there. Nice. If it's if it turns up. So it's hiding in one in box. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be in all the boxes with an S on them. But unfortunately, it doesn't appear to be in any of the boxes with an S on them. <laughs> uh, go figure, right? All right? Let's see here. JMT, what say you, sir? JMT is at 66. That's what it says. Yeah, I was... Uh, I actually had got this book right here, and I was going to have... Uh, uh, Joe Jusco sign it at East Coast Comic Con, and then, well, East Coast Comic Con didn't happen. So, um, uh, <laughs> all right, Jam Jesus at 66. DLE comes in at 69. <laughs> That's the timer, uh, Spectre. You got a Dutch oven timer. So, uh, the Elite 75. Mm -hmm. I would say all these are near mint. The only one that's got the Silver Surfer Annihilation has like like a little corner rub and like maybe warm tick. So I'd say like maybe 9 4 on it. The rest of them are uh, super sharp. Who wins that fight, Thor or Silver Surfer? Silver Surfer number four, homage. No, I'm trying to figure out who wins that fight. Mm. Uh, I say it's a push. <laughs> Safe answer, I like it. I don't know. Depends on which one's a god. <laughs> <laughs> Because Thor can just be resurrected over and over again. Not sure about Silver Surfer. Dude's talking comics to the Silver Surfer with a W. Mm. I mean, we can have that debate, dudes talking comics. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've already had Thor beat Superman in a debate. So, what you got? <laughs> All right, DLE is in at 80. So who's it just between him and we got what J JMT and JMT and DLE eighty dollars okay so right now it's at one two three four <laughs> five six seven eight books <laughs> I 
Let's say you, JMT, with your awesome Mortal Kombat sign. All right, folks. All right, so uh, go to DLE right. for 80. So DLE, I had offered, I had said if this, if it gets to 100, I'd throw this in. Do you want it or not? Just let me know in the chat. Up All right. right away. So it was uh, DLE. Okay. Cool. Thank you very much. All right, we'll it'll, be $9, it'll be nine dollars shipping, and then just let me know, um, uh, DLE, about this book, and then either shoot me an email or hit me up in IG with your address and all that jazz. Um, Adrian, can you just say something in the private chat just so I can uh, copy your PayPal email, please? <laughs> so you, Sergi. All right, guys. So we got a nine book lot. This is going to be a uh, affordable lot here. It's a number one's lot. All these books are first first uh, issues. So we got Excalibur uh, issue one. It's going to be nine books shipped. We're going to start this off at a dollar. We got Invisible Woman issue one. Marvel Legacy one. Ooh, that's a nice one. Asgardians of the Galaxy one. Yeah, come on. Mr. and Miss X1. Dodson cover. What? Infinity oh, Wars issue one. I forgot to show my button now. Okay. And we got the variant cover here. Nice. Thanos Legacy one. I like that cover. Mm -hmm. Got Karnak one. That's a one in 25. <laughs> That's what the sticker says. <laughs> and we're gonna start this off at a dollar. Wow! Nine bucks ship. Wow! Now, for those of you, a lot of you are too young, but Karnak used to be um, one of Johnny Carson's characters. The great Karnak. Yep. Yep. And now they Sans stole the book. Two dollars. It's doubling in price. Full moon somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Okay. That's gotta be Adrian. <laughs> Dwayne Scott at ten. Got a lot of meat here, guys. A lot of meat. Yeah, there's a lot of good books in this lot here. Mm -hmm. Wolf pack. That's right, Bass Clark. That's exactly what that was. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that as Guardians of the Galaxy, is that like the first time uh, Angela was in Marvel no, continuity? That, no, 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 no. That's as Guardians of the Galaxy. It's not like the first time she joins or what? No, no, that's that's that, that's its own team. No, no, oh, she showed, okay, okay. She showed up in, what, Age of Ultron book nine or book ten? Okay. A long time ago now. But yeah, that's just like, that's her, Valkyrie, uh, Frog Thor... Uh, thunder strikes on that team, like it's it just ended or something. <clears throat> so we got Dwayne Scott at 10. Who's gonna go? Who's gonna go? There's T Pain at 11. Oof. This is this is a super steal right now. I like that one, that's a good cover. Mm -hmm. Nice cover. <clears throat> He's like, How are you gonna defeat me? Do you see the size of my statue? <laughs> <laughs> nice how many books is this nine books nine books wow okay and it looks like a one in 25 all number ones with several <clears throat> high ratio variants there like yeah this is a super lot i mean you even get a duck sticker on karnak i mean what, get that lucky ducky that? sticker that's right mm. <laughs> And all books that. come with CLG's own personal sticker on the back. Yep, yeah, they all get the sticker. That's what? right, they all get the sticker. I need to get a label maker. Wow. Lots of times still left on the clock, so anybody needs to just make a quick search or whatever, please do so. But this is a. Uh, Nice lot that's going to be going for really cheap if nobody else starts to bid on this. Yeah, you remember who did that? 
Do you remember who did that legacy, the Marvel Legacy cover? It looked um, like the names on the tip of my tongue, like Rogue's this face. This one, I don't know. Well, this is a uh, unknown comics. I don't know who did it. Let me see. Let's look. Yeah, we're going to look. We're Let's in the club. I don't say. Mm. I can't make out that signature either. Hold up the signature or hold. Uh, where's that? right here. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Camera yeah, ain't quite good enough. Yeah, that's one of those. Can't read my signature signatures. Mm-hmm. But no, it's just, just. I just haven't seen that cover for that book before. That's a great looking cover. Let's see if we can find it. What's up, King B? Nineteen ninety eight. Was Marvel Legacy number one? Yeah. Yeah, Marvel Legacy one variant, unknown comics variant. Unknown comics variant. Unknown comics variant. So that would be. Uh, Southern comics. Uh, nice. It doesn't say. <laughs> Chuckleheads. Doesn't say really. Wow. Uh, <laughs> Maybe it's unknown. <laughs> There's the timer. Sam wow. Tink folded. Dwayne Scott folded. We got T Pain at 15. Who mm -hmm. else is in there? That's it, man. Oh, that's it. Yeah. So All we right. got uh, T Pain at 15. All right, man. Congrats. That's going to be uh, 24 bucks shipped. Man. I'll put, everything, I'll put everything in the chat for you. And uh, just hit me up on IG with your, your YouTube name. And then all your shipping information. Congrats, my friend. Hey. Yeah, hey guys, let us know what you might be looking for because uh, definitely don't want to bore you to death. I feel like this should have went for a lot more. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll go to Harold. Actually, before we go to Harold, uh, I don't think we broke 100 yet. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you haven't already, guys. We got the banner going at the bottom. Um, I don't think we broke 100 yet, so... Please give us a thumbs up if you haven't already and post and share. Harold, it's on you, man. All right, so. The Joe Casada, maybe? No. Someone said they wanted some Kate Thor. Oh, I think it's Chichetto. Is, that a Ch is it Chichetto? Yeah, I think that may be. That's the closest I can see. Fine. I think it's Chichetto. I could be way wrong on that, though. What are you talking about? Uh, sorry, we were trying to figure out this. Who did that Marvel Legacy? That, that Legacy, that Legacy uh, cover. Oh, yeah, okay. I, I'm totally stomping on your your <laughs> plot here. Go ahead. <laughs> Wait a minute. I thought this was Kate. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> totally stomping on your cell here. Sorry. So, um, we got Thor one. This is two. The third print. Three variants. Four. First print and five regular issue. Um, all in extremely good shape, high grade. But because of the way five is, got to start this at 50. And Mike's already and, in that 50. Yeah. Wow. I mean, you know, they, you know what it is, you know what it's worth. And then all in absolutely excellent shape. Nice. I'm trying to just keep it affordable, but you know, as I said, don't want to bore anybody. <clears throat> I'm just happy that like a Thor book that's only up to issue five is very hot. That just makes that just makes me happy. <laughs> well, you know, the dark winter. That's right, black oh, winter. Uh, Rob Bowser wants to know what the numbers were again. One through five. Okay. Yeah, one, two. This is the third print, though. Third print of two. Nice. Three. Four. Dang, Mike's up at 75. Yes, sir. Five. 
So, okay, so I'm ignorant of this. Is there like one of those a key or something? Like number five? Yeah, is it? yeah five is the big one. What's the significance of it? The first appearance. Well, Justin, you tell him. The first appearance of the Black Winter. Okay. I had the one in 25 of this last night and buy it now <clears> 200 bucks. Hmm. Didn't last two. It didn't last two minutes. Nice. <clears throat> Where did I put my doors? Oh, that's a nice run. Lots of time left on the clock. If anybody's thinking needs to do a search, whatever. But seventy-five right now is the high bidder to Mike the Collector. Who do we got in on this? Mike, Rob Boswell, and it's just those two. Got a hundred people in here. What are you guys looking for? Two people. Here. What's going on, brother? So BLC. <clears throat> I'll shout out CLG here in a little bit. Right now we got Mike the Collector at 75. What do you say, Rob Boswell, or anybody else? Rob said he folds to the power of Mike. Well, Mike but I mean, see, Mike like, waiting for the clock to go off. But like right now in Marvel Comics, think about it. Thor, Thor's got his normal "I'm the God of Thunder" power. Plus, he's got the Odin Force. Plus, now he's got been imbued with power from Galactus. Who could beat him? Huh. Squirrel Girl. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> right. <laughs> Squirrel uh, girl beats everybody. She's unbeatable. Wow, that's so ridiculous. <laughs> she beat Galactus. She beat Thanos. She's beating everybody. So yeah. <laughs> you know, you ask, you throw those questions out there, and then somebody reminds you about the super OP characters like uh, Squirrel Girl. So. <laughs> <laughs> There's a debate you should never take anyone. Never debate anybody if they're a squirrel girl. Mm -hmm. You will lose. Let's say all really high grade, so <coughs> for the encasement. We're at 100 viewers and 70 likes. Thanks, see, everybody. Come on, stream. I don't know why it keeps doing that. All right. So that's Mike the Collector. All right. Uh, yes. So there's a PayPal email at the bottom left. And then email me your address, and I'll have this, hopefully have this out tomorrow. Thank you, sir. All right, and shout out to CLG for the ten dollars super chat. Thank you, CLG. What do you say? Shout out to all the viewers today. I appreciate you. So he's not even making any money, he just gives it right back out to donate. So thank you, CLG, for that. And we have another one. Let me see if I can find it. You got it. Got a five dollar super chat from Average Will. He says over 100 in here. Smash that like button. Showing some love to, the, to a great panel. Thank you for that, Average Will. And also, I saw Chino said, what do you say, Hulk smash, Hulk smash the like button. <laughs> so thank you so much, you guys. Uh, we'll move it along to who's next. Uh, who that's in the house. What's up, who that? You ready? Yeah. That's, that's what up, who that? What's up, guys? How's everybody doing? All right. I'm going to start off with something. Well, let me do show this by it now. And I don't want to split this up. Because I think these fit well together, but I might end up splitting them up or putting them on eBay. But I'm going to do $200 shipped on this buy now, and I want to give some people some time to look at some of the books up because a couple of books going for, you know, $50 to $100 each. Um, so you got the Thanos hip-hop cover number one. Like I said, this is going to be $200 shipped. Uh, we're going to have the Unworthy Thor number one, Odinson. These are all near mint copies. We also got Star Lord number one. This one sells for about fifty dollars or more on eBay. 
And here come the ones that kind of are more expensive. Uh, you got America number one, second print. So second prints about $50 to $100 book. Um, so you guys can look it up on eBay. And then the Venom one, which has gone up significantly, like they had a 50 something dollar sale, $90 sale. So, um, but all of these books together are going to be $200 shipped. So, so you can guys can look it up to see if I'm telling the truth <laughs> or whatever, but try to give somebody a deal. I don't want to break them up. And I read all the hip hops to go together. So it's five books, $200 shipped for this buy it now. But if I don't get any takers, maybe I'll, I'll start breaking them apart, but I'd rather keep it together. Um, I don't know if I have another one to add to it. If I do, I'd have to raise the price. But the other ones are in my PC. All right, what do y'all guys want? You want some independent or Marvel? Marvel low grade key. Marvel low grade key are independent, pretty high grade key. So, but like I said, these are all near mint. <laughs> Rock City said it's quite tempting. It is like, like I said. I just looked these up and I just said, man, I know I can make way more on eBay, but somebody can, you know, you got better. one independent, huh? Yeah, one vote for independent. One for independent. Two for indie. Two for indie. Two for indie. All right. Uh, this indie could be a builder. Could be a builder. Uh oh. Could be a builder. I'll show you what's going to be next go around right now so you'll know. Um, it'll either be Spider Man or I'll do both of them or do one or the other or the original Thanos. So, this is, you know, it'll be one of these two. But since we picked Indy, and also I have a probably a nine six nine eight candidate of this that could come up later. Yeah, I'm probably gonna get it graded. So you know, I don't know because I don't know if we'll get. So, so you just showing it off for fun? <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't, yeah, like, I, if, if we get enough interest and we get the bids for it, I'll show it. I'll I'll put it up. But you know, we got to get that. You know, I know how much a nine eight goes for. <laughs> it's like three hundred fifty to four hundred dollars. Add it to. So this is. And I'll be in there. Oh, uh, well, which one? A two fifty two. Okay, well then I'll wait to do it then because I got a two fifty two coming. Harbinger <laughs> one, Harbinger one. Uh, this would probably be a nine eight candidate if it wasn't for one issue. By the staple, you kind of see it right there, like a little small tear. And what people have been telling me about that book is it's kind of common. It has one one coupon here mm -hmm. and one in here, so oh, everything's intact. Everything yeah, I think there. that's common on that book. Yeah, everything's in there. You know, you know it's just, it would be like I said, besides that little issue, man. If it didn't have that little issue, I'd probably just that'd be in my greater file. Or I guess somebody an opportunity, but like I said, I'll build I can build it up. It's gonna be nine dollars shipped. And let's start it off at twenty five dollars. I know it can I know it goes for way more than that, but I'll start that one off of that. And if we we do crack a hundred. If we crack a hundred, I'll throw in another book. Nice. Um, oh man! All right, Rob Boswell first was at thirty. Uh, Mister Collector thirty-five. Uh, Guess I better start a timer too, huh? I don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to ride up, huh? I understand. Like I said, we get to 100. Y'all know this book goes for a lot in this condition. So, you know, to get another book that sells for. What what happens in Harbinger out? number one? That's what I want you to uh, educate us on. Yeah, I don't. Huh? Educate us on the Harbinger. Harbinger number one. What happens to or what happens like, Why to? is it worth so much? Isn't it the first appearance of Harbinger? Yeah. I, I, that book That's, was Harbinger's worth. Harbinger's a team. That book was yeah. expensive when it came out in '92 or whatever. Yeah. I mean, I know it's like the first appearance, and didn't they have like a movie or a TV show they were trying to do? They got an option. They, well, but yeah, that's pretty much the whole Valiant universe that got bought with the Bloodshot deal. Yeah, mm -hmm. but that, like I say, that book has historically always been expensive. Yeah, I just didn't. I just didn't know. I was just asking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and especially if it has all the coupons and stuff inside. Uh, mm -hmm. That makes it where it's a uh, yeah, because some people cut out the coupons yeah, to get the pink yeah. one or whatever it was. Yeah, so I mean, to have it fully intact, it was you know, it was, 
because they wanted you to cut the coupon off. <laughs> mm-hmm. They all people realize. Yeah. yeah, it was like the coupon in there, the coupon in like Spawn Four, mm-hmm. and who knows what else. First yeah. sixty-five Mustang in the Valiant Universe. Yeah, but this <laughs> yeah this book in this condition, I've seen it on up on auction go for over a hundred. So are you, are you sure it's not a sixty-five and a half? I don't know. It's a Ford. And, I, and I, I'll show you the book that I was going to throw in at 100. And this book by itself sells for 50 to over 100. So, I mean, you got one on bids at $50. It's like and Paramount. It's talking about doing a movie on that one. So, ah. You can look at the Red Sonia Gold Foil 12 by Mr. Jim Lee. That wasn't Jim a bid. That, that wasn't a bid, Edwin. Yeah, that's so. Uh, but that this red Sonya, you can like I said, look it up. Number twelve, it's two hundred. Only two hundred copies were made. It's the gold foil variant by Jim Lee. Mm. Um, yeah, they have one on bids at, at fifty dollars, and then they, all the other ones are either ninety nine or dollars or more to buy it now. So nice. So, yeah, Jim Lee, red Sonya, goodness. I saw a lot of people say independent, but it was like two people bidding. All <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so yeah we get to 100 is basically you probably buy it and get one free if you uh we get it there 45 to taylor mr inhumans uh i would say it's probably a candidate if uh if it wasn't for that small little tear about a you know upper part staple that's kind of common with this book because of those coupons um you can you can ask a lot of people who have this book. That's pretty much common that happens to get it. Not like that. It's it's hard. Um, it, but, yeah. If you're if you're a gambling man, that book in nine eight goes for like five hundred bucks. Yeah, what? they had high sales at like a thousand. I think, huh? Yeah, I saw a couple of five fifty six hundred dollar sales on nine eights. Yeah, I'm looking in my Valiant box now. <laughs> right. I got. Like I said, look up this one. This is how much the guy was selling it for that I got it from. One hundred thirty dollars. He was selling this for. So at a hundred, this is even throwing in. <laughs> Dang. All right, so Taylor has it at 45, but there's three people in the mix. And I have more stuff to add, you know, more independent stuff to add, but we got to get some bids in here. Yeah. Some signs, Dan Sakai stuff. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, Rob Boswell just bid 50. Number three. Mm-hmm. This is going to be after, you know, after the Red Sony stuff. So. Whoa. You know, I got some, y'all got, no, I got some good stuff. Stop being tight. Stop being tight. I know. <laughs> it's a full auction, but this ain't low ball auction. <laughs> Dang. That's why that's why I was like, I throw a hip hop deal. I hate to break it apart. I can make more money breaking it apart, but I can I did the estimate. I can make like over three hundred dollars breaking it apart, but I don't, I don't you know I think somebody else can enjoy the benefits. And I do have a 1750 box just in case somebody goes that great right crazy. I already have it set up just in case I don't want to be. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to be searching for books like, like last time. So JC Comics 53 Taylor folded. <laughs> Where's Jeff Silversmith at? <laughs> he probably lurking. Yeah. <laughs> probably lurking. So you got you got the Jeff Silversmith box sitting there ready to go. Yeah, I got I got it. I got stuff ready just in case. I don't I don't want to never be messed up <laughs> like that. Last time. Rob folded. Like I said, like, uh, you know. So it's just JC and Mister Collect. Yeah, uh, and CLZ so was in it. Look yeah, up you, the red. Oh, song, Silversmith man. is here. What's going on? Look up the red song, you people. All right, CLG folded. So JC Comics and Mr. Collect. Uh, Mr. Collect. Uh, one, two, three. Uh, 
<laughs> he says, right after he says hello, <laughs> oh, he says somebody was so hope he took the night off. <laughs> He's here. Fifty-seven. Yeah. JC. Yeah. Oh, Harvard you want coupons are intact. High grading, you know, besides that little issue about the state ball, like I said. All right. Mike folded, or excuse me, Mr. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Collector, one, two, three. <laughs> so if the timer went off, I don't yes, know. The time, timer did go off. Okay, yeah, it went so off a while ago. All right. So then it's done. It is to JC Comics number one for 57 plus shipping. Yeah, plus nine shipping, JC. Unless you wanted the other book, I would do free shipping. But if you don't want the other book, it's be nine ship. So. Good deal. And that's cool, cool. PayPal, my IG my address and everything and IG, you know, your name and all that stuff. Much helpful. And uh, appreciate if anybody wants the hip hop stuff, let me know. I'll show them again one more round and then I'll probably start breaking them apart. So what is that? Nine plus 57 is 66. Yep. Yep. 66 total. Thank you. Appreciate it, sir. All right, and I think what I'm going to do is just in between each round because I don't really have much. To, I don't know. I can get some stuff, but I'm trying to do this instead. So, uh, guys, in the video description, I have uh, a raffle that I'm trying to do. I'm trying to raffle this off here tonight. I got one spot sold, and uh, I'm just going to take a minute in between each uh, person, not each round, but in between each person. Um, it's, a, it's a Venom Kodo Bukaya statue. It's a very expensive statue. I think it retails for about 400 during the uh, Venom movie. It's, it's come down just a little bit, but still a $300 statue. Uh, okay, just pick the spot in the uh, video description. Pick which one you want. And um, if I can get all these spots sold tonight, we will auction it off as soon as I can confirm everybody's payment. But uh, this is number one. Number one, you got it. <clears throat> And uh, timer is still going, but this is pretty much what I'm going to be pushing tonight. I may get some comics if uh, this doesn't move, but really would like to give somebody an opportunity to win this. Venom is real hot right now. Mel is real hot. Miles Morales is hot. <clears throat> All right. Appreciate that, Adam. And we'll go ahead and go over to Adrian. Hello. All right. So we got to buy it now, guys. We got Fantastic Four 45, DC 8.0. This is 750 ship. 750 ship. First appearance of any humans. Little Black Bolt, Chris Bo Karnak, Curtin, everybody. Among us hide the inhumans. So this is 750 ship. 8.0. Hi, hi, yeah, uh, that's, uh, that's up there. It's up there. Yeah, let's do this. All right. Let's try the auction. We got uh, ASM. Wow. You know this one? Oh, shit. Uh, this, let's go ahead and, this, uh, this will be 15 shipped, wherever it, whatever it ends uh, up at. This is the first appearance of that guy. Um, that was his name. <laughs> he's that, Terminator. He's on my yeah. wall. That's right. What do you guys Is it Spider? Oh, funny. Spider, uh, Spider funny. guy? <laughs> Uh, this will start. I'm starting the bidding at ten bucks, guys. That's the man's got $10. some faith in his product. Damn. Damn. Yep. Damn. Damn. Ten dollars. Mike, you just got the same Thor book, so I'm not putting up the same exact books now. <laughs> <laughs> Amy's in for fifty. Richard Gonzalez for eighty. Yep. It's a good book. Yeah, it is. Poor boy, Jeffrey is in for hundred. Five dollar increment now, everybody. And then on deck, we have some really cool stuff. We got like a very fine, a very fine plus. Hey. Oh, I've got I've got some all kinds of great stuff tonight. <laughs> okay, Rob, send me up an idea. Do, do, do. We're at a 
hundo, one hundo. 105. 105. ASM, 361, versus Carnage. 110, so poor boy and AJ Smith right now, top two battlers. Still got a couple other people in there though. Eric the Beast wants in on this, 115. AJ comes back at 130. Woo! HGM loss. HGM losses. Screw all you guys. <laughs> One hey, you know. Save some money, HGM. I got some stuff you might like. <laughs> Amy Fold. Early bird gets the worm there, Adam. Early bird gets the worm. <laughs> Eric Folds. Amy Folds, Richard Folds, Eric Folds, Poor Boy Folds. Who else did that leave? Uh, AJ Smith, maybe? What did you call it? Pasta yep. sauce? Or... AJ155. Yes, that's right. I already have two 9.8s. Yes, I do. <laughs> Nothing wrong with wanting more. Some, some, more. some books you just you hoard. You know, you can't help it. Mm -hmm. I did that with all my new mutants 98. <laughs> I mean, I'm a Deadpool fan, so it makes sense. Uh, Mine's Ultimate yeah. Fallout 4. I've got three. I'm just, four, I'm, fourth one coming. Nice. I'm just happy that like Wildcats number one is picking up steam. I'm probably yeah, going to retire yeah. soon. <laughs> <laughs> we all have boxes of them just sitting around. Oh, Jim Lee, the Wildcats. Youngblood. Youngblood. Because I got, I got that gold one, man, with Jim Lee's signature on it. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Bazillions of dollars. Bazillions. <laughs> I got I got a sign young blood number one too. Thank you very much, Strictly Comics. Actually I do too. I did just realize I saw why. <laughs> that Edwin Edwin gave me that. I cried. Sleepwalker. There we go. <laughs> I might bring my I might bring my Dark Hawk, man. Dark Hawk. Dark Dark Hawk. Hawk. Nice. The entire run of fifty comics. Yes, sir. But I think one of the problems then is it was just it was just the writing, right? Like they didn't have a lot of good writers. What Dark Hawk? No, no, back, no. Image. back in the day, Image. Yeah, yeah, oh, because yeah. it was it was all the artists trying to write their own books. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Probably not a good idea, huh? No. Dark Hawk scared me. <laughs> That's right, Steven Spock. I do. All right, y'all get a time of that time? <clears throat> Pit and wet works. Nice. All right, so AJ Smith is at 155, but who else is still on this? Amy's probably thinking. Wet works was uh, Will Spertaccio, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Eric the Beast folded. Coin punches. Silverhawks is the Oh, Amy folded. That was the one with that die cut silver cover that was pretty cool, volume one. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was Shadowhawk, right? Shadowhawk. Yeah. Uh, what about saying? Oh, saying so. Okay, so we have a winner. It goes to AJ Smith for one fifty-five. Uh, everybody else is folded. I put. I'll put everything down in the chat, chat for you, AJ. Congrats, dude. Cool, cool. And just a reminder to everybody that uh, everybody's PayPal email and Instagram is in the video description below. AJ, you are you're going to be entered at the uh, end of the auction. All the people that have been on my stuff, they're getting entered to and all this. So you're right now in. Cool, cool. All right. So before we go to Justin, uh, just real quick, you guys, uh, I got uh, 13 spots now available. Appreciate those who claimed uh, three spots recently, but trying to move this will raffle this off at the end of the night if anybody's interested. It's easily a three hundred dollar statue. I got it for three forty just because I need to have the shipping covered. Um, I've never, box, yeah. yeah, I've never shipped anything uh, quite this big, so it, it needs to be securely. I mean, the box, to be honest with you, in the styrofoam and all that stuff is actually pretty. It's pretty well packed. If you need me to like take it out and show it to you, I can. Um, but this is pretty much the statue. It's uh, it's for seventeen spots. 
twenty dollars a spot. It's in the video description of this video that you are watching. You can go and look, Kevin, and see whatever uh, spots are available. My timer is almost up, and I'm gonna move along to Justin. But we got thirteen spots available for twenty dollars each. And like I said, if we raff, if we sell all the spots, we'll raffle it off at the end of the night. Appreciate that, uh, Rob. Spot two is already taken. You have to go in the video description below and see what else yeah, is available. I have to refresh to see what's been taken. It should, uh, <clears throat> I say this, everything should be good. So everything except for spots one, two, four, and seven. All right, Justin, you're up. Okay. Books. All right. So 10 lot book, $9 shipping. We'll start it at a dollar because affordable auction. Uh, Aurelia. Number one, Warrior Nine. Oh, uh, shit. Oh, yeah. This one's near mint, too, baby. <laughs> so this, is, this is a 10 book lot. You're getting a lot of Aurelia. You got the good, in, good. In this, in, in this. All right. So you're getting issue number one, uh, issue number six, which is a 40 page special. Mm. Getting War, or, uh, Aurelia Rituals number one, Rituals number four. Oh, yeah, number four. Rituals number five. Yeah. And, all right. And then ritual, all right. No, this is uh, the Scorpio Rose storyline. So this is issues one, three, and two is also there. Thank you. Okay, two. <laughs> now, here's here's the fun stuff. Here's the ones you don't see that often. Uh, Warrior Nun Black and White, number one. And after time, Warrior Nun... D, D E I, D I. All near mint characters that show up in the show on Netflix right now. So, like I said, starting one whole dollar, nine dollars shipping for Warrior Nun of Rail. I haven't, I haven't gotten to watch the show yet. I want to. Yeah. I but I gotta, I gotta finish. I gotta finish Norseman first. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't got who. I don't got Netflix right now. I did the Hulu Disney Plus thing this year. Yeah, I hear you. So, you didn't have to choose for football season yet. Yeah, exactly. Well, if, if there's no football season, then I may cut over to Netflix, and because the cable won't be coming back on without without college football. Right. So we'll see. Yeah. Okay. Shallow Comics says it's a good series. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. I, I'll start it. I'm on season two of Norseman. So as soon as I'm finished, I wrap that up. I'll fit it. I'll start it. Who did the cover art for that after time book? Thornton, Sean Thornton. I don't know it's Thornton, but I don't know what the first name is. Gotcha. Thornton ninety six. <clears throat> so I mean, tell me about that area er 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 one. I've seen that probably show up in three different auctions, but I don't know anything about it. She's got a show on Netflix right now. That's what it is. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. No, you're good. It's called Warrior Nun. Okay. Shotgun Mary's the best character. So far. Is she? Patrick Thornton. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do we'll do Shotgun Mary a lot next week. Well, of the three, three episodes I've seen, I liked her the best. <laughs> yeah, she's a badass for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm we're on um Episode five. Okay. Pretty good. Nice. Good to hear. Good shit. You know, when a, when a woman carries two sawed off shotguns, you, know, <laughs> you gotta right. go, hey, hey. You know, okay. <laughs> I mean, she hears, she hears the words, yes, ma'am, a lot. <laughs> That's right. Except she had, of course, firing a shot, sawed off shotgun one handed, she'd have broken arms. Well, you know, it, the, the the power of TV and and the universe in which they they actually live. Mm -hmm. Physics right. is totally right. different. 
<laughs> the physics is just not safe. Yeah, Sarah Connor was rock rocking one shotgun, but this chick That's rocks right. two. That's right. Now the funny thing is that she's in the convent with the the, the father, and all the all the other nuns are doing martial arts training, and the father goes. You know, Mary, you need to you know do some training. She says, "I don't, I don't need to. I got shotguns," and just walks off. I was like, "There you go, she, that shotgun, Mary." She has the Holy Spirit in her forearms. That's right. <laughs> uh, and she has no problem using them either. Has no problem using. Them. As as she shouldn't. Larry Hoover's in at forty. Thank you, Larry. We'll do the way. We'll do the way right on all over the cliff. Thanks. Turned around and kept on going. Didn't even say a hail mary for him. All right, I have. We got a bunch of people bidding. I haven't been keeping up. I'm watching it. Larry Hoover is winning right now. Frank Webster was in there. CLG was in there. Frank Webster's now forty two. <laughs> Uh, uh. CLG folded. Larry Hoover. Bruce, Bruce says he folded. Bruce says folded. So right now it looks like it's Frank Webster and Larry Hoover. Mm -hmm. Is that right? It looks that way. Larry Hoover folds. All right. Goes to. Nice. Mm -hmm. yep. yep. Goes to Frank. So, Frank Webster, thanks so much. Pretty sure you bought from me before, Frank. So, that's awesome. I appreciate it, brother. Um, that'll be 51 total. Um, you know the routine. Uh, PayPal right there. And then just shoot me your info again on Instagram if you would. That would be great. At Exhaust State Comics. So, thanks so much. All right. Move on to the next. Yeah, Adam. before we go to Adam, <laughs> we're gonna go to Adam in a second. I'm gonna take a minute because I'm not doing any rounds, guys. So I'm just taking a minute in between each person just to push this. Uh, so to show, to show the statue, I'm gonna win. Hey, good luck to everybody, man. I don't know who's gonna win it. Uh, <laughs> I got uh, 12 spots available, so 20 out of the spots, 12 spots are left. Check out the video description below. And you can see what spots are available. Uh, we would like to go ahead and get this pushed tonight if we can, but we have to get all the spots cleaned and sold. And uh, like I said, guys, this is a very big statue. It probably weighs about, oh, my God, 20, 25 pounds total for the package. Yeah, probably around 20, 20 pounds. Or is it like porcelain or... You know, um, I may take it out. It, yeah, I've had it out. It's, it's got to be probably porcelain, I think. It's, um, Don't take it out. It's fun. People can look at the box in the picture. Yeah, it's very, very collectible. I know that. Very collectible. Um, this is probably one of the best Venom statues I've ever seen. Oh, All right, so we'll go along to... What's that? That thing is badass. <laughs> it is, man. I really don't want to sell it, to be honest with you. But. All right. So it dawned on me I did not show any buy nows last time. So I'm going to run through them really quickly in ascending order. So first I have Batman Killing Joke first print 9.8 white pages. It's going to be $200 shipped. Anybody's interested in that? I have uh, Star Wars number one 9.6 white pages. White pages? Yeah, white pages. Uh, I've checked what these have been selling for on eBay. Uh, save y'all some money. I'm gonna do 400 shipped on that. Anybody's interested? Uh, I'm gonna put the I could break these apart, but in my mind, they kind of go together, so I'm gonna keep them together for now. 750 gets you Thor 165, uh, 6.0 off white to white pages. The first full, full appearance of him. And Marvel Premiere number one, 9.0, off white to white pages. Uh, first appearance of him as Adam Warlock. It's also the first appearance of the Soul Gym. So I'll do 750 ship for the two of those together. 
might break them apart if anybody wants them. And then if anybody's really feeling crazy, uh, Doctor Strange or excuse me, Strange Tales, uh, one ten five point five off white to white pages. First appearance of Doctor Strange, uh, twenty seven hundred dollars gift. Um, now uh, let's auction this bad boy off. We're going to start it. It's going to be $15 shipped. Uh, for slab. Um, uh, I'm going to start it at, ugh, I'm going to start at 10 bucks. Uh, so we have a, it's in an art label. Wow. Uh, signed and sketched Ken Lashley, black paint. Dang. That's what's up. So Ken Lashley, black Panther commission. So what does it mean when they put that label on there? It just means that whoever got it didn't they they validated it as yellow label as authentic or not validated it was witnessed right so it was witnessed that's why it's got the yellow label before cbcs changed it for the whole verified thing so this was a witness sign and sketch um it just means that whoever got this as opposed to having it put like a numerical grade on it they chose to just have it slabbed as an art label so um so it's va it's valid or verified or whatever witnessed uh commission sketch they just didn't they chose to not have it actually have a numerical grade put on it wow okay so because sometimes you know with with a book like this the grade doesn't necessarily matter so much it's the artwork and you know but sometimes when people are doing commissions they have to like you know fold the cover back or you know weird things that would affect the grade from a grading standpoint um so you know you can just get it done with an art slab time we're going what's the starting dude oh 10 bucks i should get that and just show it to let he'll take it immediately mm -hmm. oh yeah let would love that yes he would he'd take it immediately I can tell you, I definitely paid more than twelve dollars for it. Yeah, I'm sure you did. I'm sure you so, did. So, I mean, this was done in '16. I don't. I couldn't even tell you what a Ken Lashley sketch cost, plus you know, slab cost. Uh, uh it's just all white on the back. So, Fifteen to decamp. To be in Phoenix is at twenty five. Rock City is at twenty six. Black Panther, awesome sketch, verified. Woo! The deal, twenty eight bucks. Thirty to Rock City, forty to Law. 45, the Shallow Comics. Roxy's at 47. So, and again, if anybody's interested in any of my buy it now, just hit me up in the chat. Um, and I'll, I'll show you guys here in a minute what's what you can choose between for the uh, next round. Yeah, there definitely appears to be quite a bit of lag. So yeah, um, let me know if we need to just kind of drag it out a little bit longer. But there's definitely some lag for sure. Let's see, Frank was at sixty. Rock City's at sixty-one. Being Phoenix Folds. Adam Horry's here. What's going on, Adam? Mm -hmm. Shallow Comics Shallow Folds. <coughs> Frank, Frank Webster. 65. Decamp Folds. Rock City 66. Laws at 75. Frank's at seven. Oh, well, you got to go above 75. Rock City's at 77. Frank's at 80. Hmm. 
Wow. Really? Really? Yeah. He went, he went there, man. Wow. You know, I was trying to get, I was going to get it for a friend, you know, send it to him. But, you know. <laughs> That's still a good deal. Cause I'll tell you, Ken Lashy, he, 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 he charges a, a little bit, a lot more than he used to charge. No, he's getting that big head. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, not really, not, not really, not really. He's still he's still cheaper than some of these other people right, who have so, no money. <laughs> Rock, he's gonna be doing spawn, isn't he? Yeah, he's doing. He's busy doing spawn, and I think he's. I think he's about to start doing some either DC or I forgot. I, forgot, I think it's DC. Rock City pulled it. So is that is that Frank Webster at eighty? Yep. Okay. Uh, what else? I said fifteen shipping, so it'll be ninety five total, uh, Frank. <laughs> You can just uh, send it to my whichever side it's on uh, PayPal there. And um, if you could either send me a separate email to that same email address, I always get the side wrong. There you go. Um, uh, or hit me up on IG with your address. Uh, I'll get that out to you. And then you guys let me know next round in the chat if you want some. Uh, silver slash bronze age Avengers, or if you want some silver age, low, a little bit lower grade, uh, Thor Journey into Mystery. So let me know which one of those you want coming up next. All right. And before we go to CLG, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you guys this. I got 12 spots available. A very Collectible, expensive Venom statue, probably one of the better ones that I've seen. Got seven, got twelve spots still, twenty dollars each. Like I said, if we get it all filled up before the end of the night, we'll go ahead and auction or not auction, but raffle it off uh, at the end of the show. So easily a three hundred dollars statue, still out of the box, in uh, very good shape. It's number sixteen eighty eight out of three thousand. If you guys want to know what spots are available. Check the video description below. The video description below will tell you uh, what spots have been claimed and what spots are still available if anybody is interested. I'm not doing any rounds tonight, so I'm just going to be doing this in between each person. Um, I'll tell you what. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to take out the box, and then I'll show it uh, after we do a CLG. It's uh, it's what, what do you call it? Uh, six scale. Yeah, I think it's what six scale. Yeah, it's it, it's a pretty. It, it's about a twenty pound package in the box and everything. So, all right. So go to CLG. All right, guys. Um, got to buy it now. Here, got a Spider Gwen one. This is the the uh, Annika variant cover. 9.8. Very nice. We'll do this for 175 shipped. Anybody's interested, let me know in the chat. And then for my auction, I got a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven book. Uh, name more lot. So we got a uh, Submariner issue one. This is going to be the, uh, the four book uh, limited series issue one. Issue two, three, issue four. Then we got the uh, the best defense number one Namor. This is the newer series. This is the second printing. That's crazy. Then we got Submariner uh, issue sixty. And then last, we got uh, Namor, the Submariner, issue one. We're going to start this. Uh, let's start it at a dollar. It's going to be nine bucks ship. All right. Dollar starting here for nine books. Uh, can you scroll through them one more time? Keep it, uh, keep it right there for a second. So that, that uh, that's actually a really good read, and that's actually with the uh, – First appearance of that lady on the dragon on the cover there. That's actually her first appearance. You know, minor character, but good read and a first appearance. So 
I, I, I recommend it. Uh, 175 Nemesis Prime. That's shipped. Well, that splattered win. Edwin, you got a question in the chat? He may have stepped away for a minute. I think he was trying to unbox that statue. Oh, oh that's yeah. what I thought I was hearing. Uh, that you probably were hearing me screwing around with my uh, actually. Oh. What's the name we're starting at? We're starting at one dollar. One dollar, fellas. One dollar. One dollar. Oh. For some name more goodness. Cause you know he's probably gonna pop up in Black Panther too. Oh yeah, he's coming. They, they've already they've been setting that up for a long time. Mm -hmm. But the Rock can only play so many people. People. <laughs> no man, the Rock can play all the parts in the same yeah. movie. He's the Rock. Who is Eddie Murphy? You'll bring Jason Momoa over. Hey, uh, Jason Momoa. Or you know they could bring the guy who played in um, in um, Beauty and the Beast. What's his name? Played Gaston. Oh, I haven't seen the live action one. I don't know. Oh, you didn't? Okay, well, that and that, that that fell in deaf ears. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. It was a cartoon. Oh, yeah, it was a cartoon. I'm like, what? It was a live action one. Yeah. Wasn't that Orlando Bloom or something? No, no, it's a different guy. It's the, the guy who looks like Orlando Bloom. But a much but much bigger one. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, There's like three of those guys. Now. Beauty and the Beast with uh, Emma Watson. The light, the oh, light yeah. Watson. Now, he also played in... He's kind of small, too, though. Not not in that, not in that movie, he wasn't. I'm talking about short or short. Man, you know as soon as you get a Marvel contract, it comes with a bottle of HGH. That's right. <laughs> right? <laughs> so we got Larry Hoover. HGH is only illegal in sports. So just see how this book right here sells for about 20 bucks. Nice. Layers at five. A lot of meat left. People, people just get some deals tonight. This is crazy. Mm -hmm. Affordable action. That's right. Luke Evans, that's his name. Okay, there we go. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he would he would make a good uh I can see that. Yeah. He was in that, uh, um, one of the Fast and Furious movies. Well, he was in he was in the Hobbit too, and they had Orlando Bloom as Legolas reprise his role as uh, in the in the Hobbit also. So they were both in the same movie, and they looked very similar. Yeah, he was da da. Mm -hmm. da. Jeff Silversmith, fifteen. Nice. Wow, that dude is Orlando Bloom's twin. Good right. Lord. I know. It no, definitely I, be his I, older brother. That that dude was not that dude in the Dracula movie? The yep. Dracula Untold? Yeah, yep. that's what I remember yep. from. That was a good movie, man. Yeah, I like, yeah, I like that movie. <laughs> See, say thank you. <laughs> Joe, <laughs> Joe said he's done with his nap. He's yeah. trying to wake up. Y'all better watch out now. Y'all better watch out now. Jeff, tell him what's tell him next, Jeff. Oh, tell him next. I don't know who that. I don't know who that. <laughs> it, was, it was hilarious seeing him do that to you guys. That's all I'm gonna say. Hey, I'll, I'll tell you right now, I will bid 1751. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna tell you right now, I got a 1750 box right now. All right, well, <laughs> I'm ready. Twenty dollars to Jeff Silversmith. I'm just waiting for Silversmith to decide he wants that first Doctor Strange. Oh no, man, he should. He wants that original art I got coming up next, or that published art I got coming up next. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody vying for Silversmith's cash tonight, right? I am not. Okay, I am not. 
If it happens, it comes in front. And is that you rustling paper? That's a no. good cover right there. That's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. I'm taking the Venom statue out of the Okay, I'm sorry. Package. Don't, bro don't break anything. Uh, yeah, that's the last thing we need to hear. <laughs> we just hear Edwin. All right, guys, I'm going to refund everybody's money. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Jeff Silversmith at 25. It. This lot's still way underpriced. Yeah, it is. So Jeff Silversmith, 25 bucks. <laughs> he said he prints his money in his basement every night. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's it, right? Everybody, everybody tapped out? No, you still got Frank Webster. Oh, you did fall. Okay. No, he folded. He folded. So that's going to go to Jeff Silversmith at uh, 25, man. Appreciate that. So that's going to be 34 ship. And I'll put everything in the chat. You know what to do. Appreciate you, Jeff. All right. And I'll take a minute real quick just to talk about this. Um, so here's the statue. It's uh, It's got some weight to it. It's only two pieces. It's just this one piece. It's got this right here. And then the, uh, the base which is 1688 out of 3000 okay. Venom. This is the base. And uh, it's $20 a spot and there's 17. Well, there's either 11 or 12 spots available in the uh, video description. And like I said, it's only two pieces and I put it on the base. So compared to me, this is how tall it is, I guess. Well, we'd have to know how big your head is. I think it's cool, man. Yeah, it's a pretty uh, detailed, probably one of the best Venom statues I've ever seen. So I'll just yeah. show this real quick, and then we'll go ahead and move it along to see who's next. Uh... Who that's next? There's a, there's a wall. I thought I was after the. Uh, I think it's Harold. It was a Harold? Oh, yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. Harold, you're right. My bad. Uh, no <laughs> respect. No respect. I tell you. No respect at all. None. None whatsoever. Hey, I got no respect here. Oh, come on. Button. Take my wife. <laughs> all right. We're going to do um, Marvel Legacy. Small lot. But it's got number issue. They're all issue one, uh, regular issue one, and then variants. You have the women variant with Kamala Khan and Robert and all that stuff. And the Alex Ross one and 50 variant Ooh. as well. So we'll start this at 20 bucks, $9 shirt. All in, as always, you know, really good condition. Very nice. There's a little thing on that, that top, but I'll be back in a minute because I gotta go let the dog out. Yep. Adam, 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 Adam. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Nice. That's a good looking book. I mean, that's that's a lot of detail for an Alex Ross cover. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of characters. He, you know, I mean, he he does it great, but he likes to, or it seems like he likes to, you know, do singular focuses a lot. Yep. So to see something where he's throwing in a ton of characters is really is really awesome. He's got a lot of characters on this one. Very nice, very nice cover. What's the starting bid? Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars.
Oh, we got some trolls. Something. Something I wasn't putting up with. Everybody's a critic. Twenty dollars starting bid. Anybody? Is it still removed, Justin? Because I was looking at it. I don't know if me looking at what was said brings the person back up. It still says. I mean, it's all hidden to me. Like it's changing names. Like who's doing it? But it's all still okay. gone. Okay. Mr. Lit must be with us too, helping us out from the lurking. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was. Uh, I don't know if I would have brought. I don't know if I was hidden that, Mr. Likes. I think he was talking about Hawaiian punch. Twenty to T Pain. T Pain's throwing in on this Marvel Legacy. Very a lot here. Yeah, that Women of Power one right there. That's awesome. Yeah. It almost looks like Jay Lee, but it can't be Jay Lee, right? You mean Jim Lee or somebody else? Mm -hmm. Nah, Jay and Jay Lee's art is like I don't know. It's Jay Lee art. Is you know? It? No. Oh, okay. Amy. Looks like yeah. Amy or Andy. Amy, Amy, that's what it says, Amy. Amy? Okay, Amy. Oh, Amy. Oh, Amy. Hmm. Hang on, let me go. 1 in 50, Alex Ross. Yeah. yeah. No problem, Mr. Lett. You're all good, brother. What's up, Mr. Lett? Amy Reed. I said I, said I call him who, who let? Who let? That's who let? Who let? And I missed the that. Probably, yeah. Her, her name oh. is Amy Reader. Amy R E E P E R. Nice. Amy Marvel that variant cover. One of twenty-five. One of twenty-five. Nice. Yeah, that's a cool cover. An Amy Reader variant cover. All right. Is that it? Just one bidder. Looks that way. All right, Mr. Payne, unfortunately, I packed your stuff up from before, so that's already gone. So I have to do 20, uh, 29 total shipping, and then we'll get this out to you. Thanks, sir. All right, and we'll move along to also the statue after who that. Go ahead, who that. All right, all right. Uh, I'm going to do something right now that. A boy thorough did. I'm going to do a $750 mystery two slab lot, $750. It is uh, two slabs, both nine eights, first appearance. Um, and I'll just leave it like that. I'm doing it hidden like I'm just talking to you. <laughs> so shout out to thorough I'm doing it just like that. So if anybody wants to claim it, you can claim it. If you don't like it, you don't have to buy it. But uh, I'll show it to you if you want to see it. If you don't want to see it, uh, just let me know. But seven hundred fifty dollars shipped. So here we go. Let's go on to my couple of other lots. I added a book to my hip hop lot, so I'm gonna just put it up a little bit because uh, the book sells for like forty dollars, but I'm only gonna bring it up twenty five dollars. It's two hundred twenty five dollars shipped for the hip hop covers. I'm adding this one's out of my PC, so uh, I think uh, what's his name? Uh, Bill and Kevin should just cover. So this Black Panther seven hip hop. You can look that one up as well. And then I like I said, I added that one to these, the Thanos one. Hip hop. We got the Unworthy Thor. These are all near mint. Uh Star Lord one. I think Star Lord one is a Bill St. Kevin's too, yeah. Uh, we got the America Second Print, which is a uh, you know, harder to find than the regular uh, uh, first print. So. And then the last but not least, this one has just gotten crazy. I think all the Venom hype is uh, Venom 1. And I think this is Bill Subscribers too. So all near mint, 225 ship. 
and it includes it's uh it's six books six books look them up if not i'll just break them apart and end up keeping up like a handful um i'm gonna do a marvel um could could build up but we'll just start off with one book because i think this one book is good enough um so we got amazing spider-man 122 death of the green goblin biggest issue is kind of the cover it has that like little chip so i think it's a lower grade copy maybe three to four um but all attached no uh, rusty staples no pieces missing no big old cutouts or anything like that that's the back so still a super bronze age key issue um something that i think stanley wasn't around to approve this story because i think he didn't want Gwen Stacy to die, and he didn't want to kill off Green Goblin, so they did just like he was out of town, just a little history backstory. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Um, so, some things that were done while <laughs> Mr. Stanley wasn't around. Um, I'm gonna start the bidding at this on at thirty dollars. I have to start at thirty. Um, hey, hey, Harold T. Payne uh, asked in the comments if he needs if you needed his address again. Okay. Gotcha. Cool. Yeah. There you go. Thirty dollars. I started bidding at thirty. Um, I said it's still, you know, even in that condition, it's good. Probably. I know if you go to conventions in that condition, it's like a hundred dollars or more. But, and, uh, and I'll check my uh, Instagram. Shallow. Appreciate that. Um, so let's see. Thirty dollars yeah. starting bid. It could yeah, there is some bad. lag, so yeah, it's, it's it's pretty bad. The lag's been pretty bad. I think Stream needs to update again. Yeah, uh, it was freaking out on me Thursday. I wasn't even touching the screen, and it kept like going to the panel, and I had to click it to go back to the person. Mm -hmm. I got that ten people on a on a panel is a little bit too much for him right now. Yeah, so nine dollars shipped on this lot. Like I said, I can I can build it up. But a few other books, some you know, some nice uh, Bronze Age books. <laughs> well, one Bronze Age book definitely, and I can put it up even more. But we'll see how it goes. Big Ben seventy in the house. We got thirty five. So, key issue, people. Key issue that people don't know Spider Man. It is like I said, lower grade copy, but like it's like they always say, low grade is better than no grade. <laughs> I think this is a John Ramita cover too as well. Um, let's see what I have here. Uh, we get it to 85. I know we're a long ways away, but I'll throw in a, you know, Captain Marvel 33. Mm -hmm. Origin of Thanos. Origin, Origin of Thanos. Classic cover. Jim Stockman. Uh, Yep, Jim Stalin, some nice, nice work. Great book to get him signed. Uh, so, but if we get up to 85. If you're going to sign anything other than black, because that's a dark cover, and, and I was trying to get him to sign different colors and stuff, and he just he just did what he yeah. wanted to do. Yeah. Well, they got a couple of spots he could sign. Yeah, he could sign in the yellow Captain Marvel area, or he could sign at the very low part where that building. <laughs> You, know, you just got to tell them. A lot of people just get so excited when you meet people and forget. <laughs> so, Death of the Green Goblin, people. Volume one. Like I said, 30 more dollars gets you another book. Let's see if we had 55. 30 more dollars gets you the origin of Thanos. Captain Marvel 33. Bring y'all back to some old school stuff. I know they got a lot of. You know, top 10, top 20, top 1,000, you know, all that stuff. But these are the books you should be buying as well. I so said we had 65, 20 more dollars. Get you a book. It's probably sells for Big Ben uh, is at 85. Oh, he's at 85 now? Yep. There you go, Big Ben. There you go. Now you see, now you're talking. You yeah, talking. Batman was asking earlier if you're buying now. Your mystery was Marvel or DC. I didn't even see that. 
Oh, he was asking that. No, uh, it's gonna be uh, image, image. It's image. Low print count, hard to find. Ninety-five. Let's see if I can. Let's see. I got some Gwenpool I can add. Um, uh, I only got two people bidding. If we had more people bidding, I would not add any stuff up. Yeah, we got 153 people watching. What, what do you guys want to see? Because uh, I'm really surprised we got that many people watching. Only got a couple guys bidding. Mm. Ranks at 100. We got. We only need three more likes to a hundred. Everybody, cool. three more likes. Is that a, oh, the bids at a hundred or ninety five? Mm, it's at hundred. At a hundred. Um, I'll show two books for two hundred. So these two books will be added at two hundred. Um, this one is. I'm surprised. It's, it's going to get hot just because the cover is amazing. So we got Venom twenty two. This is a legacy number is one eighty seven. It's a near mint copy with all that black man. It's perfect. And this also will be added uh, if we get to 200. It's Venom 5. That's a, a nice Venom 5 variant. A Venom 5 variant. So uh, this sells for, I sold one on the auction for 85. So that's why I'm adding both of these at 200. So you get both of these at 200. Mm. Uh, and if not, I'll definitely send this one in. This one, this is 90 candidates. Nine, eight candidates. I'm going to put that back in the box. I don't mess with it. But only, if we get to 200, I'll, I'll put that in there. Slab worthy. Slab worthy. What's up, first edition? I see you lurking. I see you lurking. So I'll add those two books at 200. Um, Big Ben folds. You know. I think that was it, though. Yeah, yeah. there's a Frank for 100. So. There's a uh, PayPal email, Frank. Yeah, Frank. It's going to be 109, Frank, unless you do the other books for 200, then it's free shipping. But if not 109, sir, 109, there's an email. You can either email or, or do it on Instagram. That's my Instagram. Either or for the address and your name and what you want. I'm pretty sure I guess Frank Webster probably might be your real name. So it's 109, and I'll have that shipped out to you tomorrow. Uh, oh, let me show you a preview of my um, – I could do next round, so you guys just let me know. I could do the Venom that I showed. Uh, yeah, Jeff, you be missing, man. Jeff, but I still have that mystery box, Jeff. 750 shipped. 750 shipped. Um, I could do this next round. Uh, first appearance of Gwenpool hmm. and uh, Spider Gwen. This little, you know, Gwenpool, Spider Gwen lot. Or I can do the, so you just let me know. Uh, the Venom stuff, so I can do that. The Venom 5 variants. Uh, Jane, I, go pick I, the Venom 5. Oh, I didn't have it at a, as a buyer now. Oh, I thought it was a buyer oh, now. My bad, my bad. No, no, no. It was supposed to be, it could have been, been added in the other lot. For extra 100. So. All so, right. I'll just do it next round, guys. Uh, you know, so just be, you know, since somebody says something about it. All right, cool. Uh, let me see here. We're going to go here just for a minute. Um, I got about a third of this filled up already, you guys. So I really appreciate that. I got uh, 12 spots or 11 spots still available for this uh, Venom Koto Bukaya statue. It's a very expensive statue. It's a two piece, it's got a lot of weight to it. It's about a 20 pound total. Uh, Twenty dollars each. Like I said, if we can get this filled up before the end of the show, I'll raffle it off at the end of the show. Otherwise, I'll just probably just carry it on into the next auction. I'll continue to push it on IG throughout the week. It's already on Instagram. Uh, if you go to my Instagram at Strictly Comics with an X, um, it's on there as well. But if anybody's interested, I'm trying to raffle off a very nice Venom statue. It's uh, what they call it a six scale. Probably at least a foot tall. So that's that, and I'll move it to who's next? Uh, 
Adrian. Yo, yo. Wait, wait, man, that doesn't look like me. <laughs> <laughs> um, still got this, guys. I'll tell you what, I'll do like a, I'll do a little price drop just to, just to be nice. Fantastic Four, forty-five, CBC, eight point oh. First appearance of Inhumans. So, it's a nice one. I will do. Da -da -da -da. I'll do seven thirty shit. So that's seven hundred thirty shit. So that is a deal. Ask any. Ask any. Seven thirty shit. All right. Oh, I also have another buy it now. I got that uh, Peach Momoko exclusive. This is the Virgin variant. I will do a um, hundred buy it now. That's plus shipping now. So if you bought it, it'd be one hundred nine total. What book is that? This is the Wretches. Oh, the okay. Each Momoko variant. This is yeah the Virgin variant. So check it out on the bay. It's going for going for good prices out there. <laughs> okay, guys, for auction, I have something that's pretty nice. Uh oh. Um, I have to start it high because this is not a low grade. This is extremely high grade. Here come the lurkers. Here come the lurkers. <laughs> Here they come. Roman Curtis. I know you're in that Joker M21. I know you Guys, this is seriously, it's. This is like a. This is very fine. It's a very fine plus. Maybe we're that like a nine. Probably like a 992. Not better, but. So I gotta start it. I gotta start the bidding at two hundred, guys. That's... Yeah, good one. Dude. Whatever you're comfortable with, man. We all know what that is. Yep. It's not a. Uh, it's not a, a a face on a TV screen, is it? What's that? Oh, it's not a, 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 a face. Yeah, first of all, a dark side, a face on the TV screen. The dark seat or dark side? Dark seat, right? Uh, <laughs> Dark seed. <laughs> no. Feel the seed. Feel the seed. Get get seedy with it. Jason Smith is in the chats. Oh my god. What's yep, the man, the myth, Jason Smith. <laughs> so what grade do you think you put that at? I put it at a nine nine two. Oh wow! Okay, so it's up there. Starting to do two hundred dollars, guys. First okay. full appearance. Yeah, first first full appearance of Michael Ironside. First meeting of <laughs> Mother Box in Ubuntu. What? Forever people love Super Town. Wait, take me to your Super Town. <laughs> Superman, um, stop crying. It's like it's like just a big is it like a big four wheeler that he's got? What's he what's he riding there? <laughs> I don't even know what the name is. <laughs> That's crazy. Some type of thing. <laughs> so, yeah, starting at two hundred guys. Two hundred. I got those buy it now. So don't forget. Great deal. Seven thirty ship for that. That high grade. Oh. Oh. Hey, that guys, he said it's about a nine oh nine two and seven fives or something for two hundred slab. So. This is affordable for affordable auction. Starting bid two hundred dollars. He says about a nine oh nine two seven five slabs are selling for two hundred. Yep. Dang. Wow, that's like an easily three hundred dollar boat. Y'all sleeping, man? I don't know what y'all doing. I don't have the money, otherwise I'd be bidding. But dang, that's a deal. You're beautiful. You know that. <laughs> Has it been pressed? Uh, I, I don't think it has, and I don't think it needs to. That's not a square bomb, though, either, is it? No. 
Hmm. Hmm. I said I would take it out right now, but I do, you know. Mm -hmm. you now you're doing a good book, and your hands just start to perspire. <laughs> it's like. Yeah. There you go, Jeff Silversmith, in at two hundred. Appreciate that bid, just Jeff Silversmith. Anyone else? Well, that's that's a hell of a deal already. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I'm okay with it. Dang. Hey guys, it's a, like I said, it's a nine, nine two. And when you get it graded, because I recommend you do get it graded, you can tell me. You can hit me up. I will. will be happy to see it in a slabby. Nola Comics says it's an interstellar dune buggy. <laughs> hey, look at that. We got that guy. He's like, look at me. I'm in the front. I do I do nothing. <laughs> the spider buggy in DC. <laughs> Superman just needs to sound like a nerd. Wait, that's my only channel. Hmm. This week on the Forever People of Supertown. Will Superman find the super people? <laughs> that's Jack Kirby artwork too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the curbster? Yeah, it is Jack Kirby. I'm, I'm thinking wrong. Book you, Jeff. Congratulations on a all of the wow. mm -hmm. All right. There's a PayPal email at the bottom left. Jeff Silversmith. Hit me up on uh, IG, Jeff. I think we've dealt with each other before. And uh, we'll do Justin and I'll go to the statue. Okay. All right, Justin. All right, everybody. Here we go. Here we go. Here is what you will be bidding on. Mm. Can you even see it? I can't see the screen and it at the same time. Okay. Yeah, we can see it. You're good. All right. So this is um, Robert Brown on the pencils and Ray Garcia did the inks. This is from Avengers Strike File, issue number one. Um, I don't have that book, but if you will allow me a day or two before I ship this out, I'm going to go find this book, and whoever wins it, I'm going to ship you the book with it. Because I, I like that. When I send somebody art from a book, I like them to have the book also, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so, not to be messing around. Also, thanks to Tony and what Junior, uh, am I see Junior? Whatever. Thanks, Tony, for uh, kind of helping me figure out where this was from. It was taking us a minute. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'll just start it at 50, um, and then just kind of go from there. 50, we'll do $9 shipping just as a normal shipping, but don't worry about it. It'll ship, ship all nice and padded and wrapped in bones. $100 from Strictly Comics. Yeah, I know, idiot. Come on, Tony. <laughs> See, Tony. <laughs> Hey, bro, right, when so I see you, dude, bro, that's what happened, with, the, with the plastic over it, and if you don't know what these are, these are so they could figure out where they wanted to put things. So you have on Inhumans over here, and they could have had other ones and stuck it around. So they're just trying to figure out where they're going to put names or thought bubble or things like that. Mm -hmm. oh, I man. mean, if I had, a, I had more room in my house, man, I'd probably be getting more into this original art stuff. But, man. Yeah, this is, I mean, <laughs> yeah. I mean, and, and it's one of those things where you don't see, like, a full double-page spread, you know, like, come around that often. So. Well, I, every time I see them at uh, shows, I mean, them things, they want thousands. It's not, yeah. you don't even have to be, you don't even have to be key books or even characters you like. It's exactly. always like, you know, well, that's the thing. a thousand dollars. You're like, what? <laughs> well, that's the thing. A lot of people go for the artist, but, I mean, how many times do you see, like, a full double-page splash with, like, the whole team and... Just all kinds of extra goodies, extra characters. There it is. I'm not even a Fantastic Four fan either. Avengers. Yeah, look at Tony. One. This is. Um, it says it says this page is 28 and 29, but if you actually go read the book, which I did online, um, it's really pages 29 and 30. So there must be an ad in there before this somewhere. That's how they did that. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Man, so you got everybody on there. You got the thing, 
Y'all lucky, uh, y'all lucky uh, legend don't watch them auctions, man. Cause we told him, we told him about it. We tagged yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, he don't, he don't, he stays away from because he, you know, he would probably, he would probably have this up to five hundred. Like, <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest. Well, I mean, yeah, and that's that's the thing is I tagged him because I know he was a big Fantastic Four fan. You know. Yeah. David, uh, yeah, this original art page is a double page splash of the Fantastic Four from what's the title of the book, Justin? Uh, this is Avengers Strike Force number one. Came out in '93. Art by Robert Brown and inks by Ray Garcia. Oh, man. Yeah, it should be able to be framed. Somebody said, "Can it be framed?" Yeah, you just got to go to go to Michael's. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, it's, it's this, this would be a hundred dollars a page. Frame. Yeah, easily. this would be this would be an awesome frame piece. If I was keeping <sighs> it. It would be in a frame. You know. Uh. I mean, I'm holding my hands so I don't type anything. <laughs> I'm gonna sit <laughs> on my hands. Yeah, I mean, just being honest, man. That's a lot of detail. People don't realize that's a lot of yeah, detail. Yeah, it's published too. It's but like you can't even pay that much to get that done as a commission. It costs you yeah. probably five hundred dollars at least to get yeah, a commission at that size. Yeah. 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 And that's from a no-name artist, <laughs> not anybody who's published. <laughs> and I feel like in the '90s they did a lot more detail because it was like the art was pushing comic sales and speculation, of course. Yes. Look at Lockjaw down there; it looks all crazy. Dang, Lockjaw, and, and Medusa. Medusa with a hair, man. That's just. <laughs> I was said Michael will charge you more. That's why you got to go with a coupon at seventy five percent off. <laughs> I always just buy the frame and do it myself. Yeah, you, yeah, either way you do it, they still give you coupons. They they have seventy five percent off like framing and stuff. You know. I'm thinking, man. <laughs> I can't be hey, bro, hey, like uh, I told you, take your time, just think about it. You know, it's not a rush. This is not a. Like, we gotta finish in five seconds. Uh, you still in there? You still in there? Yeah. I'm surprised. I'm. It's just between me and somebody else. Like, come on, man. What do you guys? It's original artwork. It's a one of a kind, published. Yep. And it's from the '90s, so you know they probably sold half a million of these. <laughs> yeah, like Dang I said, it. whoever gets it, give me a couple extra days, and I'm gonna find you the book. I want to send it with the book. It's it's cool looking at the back of it too, because you can like see some bleed marks or where they were trying some stuff. <laughs> Mm -hmm. that's what makes it such a unique piece you know i mean it is a one of a kind but you have like just these little details you won't see anywhere else and i can't i can't man it's it's easily worth two hundred at least. Mm -hmm. Golly, man! I can't. I'm trying to get my fourth press. So that means it goes to Tony. Damn, man! Tony, you suck. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow! It is a beautiful. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's it's great. Um, so yeah, Tony. I love you, Tony. If you buy from me, <laughs> <laughs> I know I know we're gonna be here, man. I, I know how he is with original art. So, but yeah, so just do uh, one fifty nine, uh, Tony, and send me your address again, and I'll get it out to you a little bit later this week. I'll send you the uh, track info, sir. Thank All you very right. much. All right, so I'm gonna show this off real quick. Uh, still got. It. I got about two thirds, uh, one third of this filled up. Trying to sell uh, 17 spots total, $20 a spot. Guys, if this gets filled up tonight, we will raffle it off at the end of the show. Or as soon as I get confirmed payments from everybody, um, I'm not doing any auction 
any rounds today. This is pretty much the only thing I'm trying to push. So uh, if anybody's interested, I have a Venom statue. It's uh, This is uh, everything shipped. So $340 total. Shipping is included. $20 a spot. If you go to the video description below the video that you are currently watching, you can see what spots are available. Look at the video description below if anybody is interested. Um, if you see a spot you want, go ahead and claim it. Just uh, say spot number and whatever in the uh, the chat, and uh, I'll populate the I'll populate it with your name. And like I said, uh, hopefully we can raffle it off at the end of the show. But there's still. 11 spots available to anybody who is interested. This is a very This is a very real deal collectible type of statue. It's not no El Cheapo or anything like that. Hmm. All right, so we'll go ahead and go to Adam. Cool. All right, so this is going to be my last round, and then I'm going to bounce. Um, so Frank Webster, if you need to... Uh, jot down my PayPal or whatever. It'll probably be in the description, I guess. Um, if you're going to pay for that uh, a little bit later tonight or whatever, that's fine. Um, so, yeah, I'll run through my buy nows again real quick. Um, so, Killing Joke, 9.8 white pages, 200 shipped. Uh, I'll go ahead and split these up just uh, if anybody wants it. I got Thor 165 6.0. Um, first full appearance of him. It'll be 325 shipped. You guys can check these prices. I think they're pretty good. Uh, I got Star Wars number one, 9.6. It's first print, obviously. Um, white pages. Uh, that'd be 400 shipped. Um, Marvel premiere. Uh, first. Uh, First appearance of him as Adam Warlock, and also the first appearance of the Soul Gym. It's 9.0, excuse me, 9.0. Uh, off white to white pages. That'll be 425 shipped. Um, and if anybody, like I say, is feeling crazy, I still got this. Strange Tales 110, first appearance of Doctor Strange. Uh, it'd be 2700 shipped, and that'd be like full on registered mail, all that jazz. Um, so if anybody's interested in any of those, uh, I'd asked Avengers versus Thor a lot, and several people said Avengers. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six Avengers books here. These are in a uh, variety of grades, so I'll try to go through them. Um, you have, first, you have Avengers number 44, um, probably about a, I'm going to say like a, 4.0 copy. It's got some some orange you can see across the top here. The spine has some definite wear issues. Um, everything is attached and then it's got some uh, tanning down here at the bottom. Um, we have number 82. This book is probably about I'll say I don't know how much to knock down this corner. Um, it needs to be cleaned, definitely. It's the biggest thing is up here. This top corner has some multiple creasing there, so probably like I don't know seven. Be safe. Um, we have number eighty-nine. Um, probably about a maybe a four and a half to a. Five maybe. Um, biggest thing is uh, kind of a chunk out of the corner there, and then ooh, the, hit the camera, and then lots of wear. You can see there, uh, color breaking wear down the spine. Uh, next is uh, number one seventeen. Uh, this book is really nice. Uh, it's just got like a couple of spawn ticks, uh, you know, some wear on the corners. I'd pay, put this probably like a seven five, maybe. Um, one eighteen, also uh, fairly nice. Just some some color rub and uh, 
you know, a few spine ticks around the staples, probably also just to be safe, like a 7075. And then number uh, 181. Now, this one does have, if I can get it to show, you can see it there. That, see that crease? Goes the, uh, there it is. Goes the full length of the book, kind of diagonal right there through uh, Beast, or through, uh, Miss Marvel's head and through Beast's arm all the way down. It's one big color breaking crease that goes all the way down the book. Uh, so whatever you want to do with that. Um, five, five, maybe. So anyway, it's going to be uh, $9 shipped and we'll start it at 10 bucks. All right. Silver Age Avengers goodness, ten dollars starting bid, nine dollars shipping. Who wants yeah, to get it kicked mostly, off? Uh, probably mo a little bit. Of this one's silver. Probably mostly uh, bronze. Larry, who was in at ten? Appreciate that, Larry. Just Silversmith, because he likes Silver Age and Bronze Age, Golden Age. Yeah, he's in at twenty-five. I got that Thor lot, but it, it's lower grade, but it's all Silver Age, Journey into Mystery and stuff. But we might be. Wait for another time on that one. Discovery Bay. So I tried to be as you know that accurate. Go. I told great. you to lurk, lurk a little. <laughs> I told you. What did I tell you? Hey, there he go. What's up, disco, disco? You should call him lurking, lurking. Go, go. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to do his Avengers run. I think he's like missing. Some. So it must be some of the ones he's missing. So again, I try, like I say, I tried to cover everything pretty accurately. Oh, look, Especially. another one. That's another one. Comic so, Phantom. Uh, again, you got 44, probably the one of the lower grades. Uh, again, I'm going to put that like a, he's trying to get me to stick around for another Thor lot, huh? Uh, all right, I may do that. Um, so 44 is probably the lowest grade, probably like, uh, I'm going to say four and a half, maybe to be safe. Number 82, all you've got really is the crunch on the top corner. Uh, pretty nice copy. Um, let's see if I can show that again better. There it is. Uh, maybe. Um, 89, you got a, a chunk out of the top corner up there. And then lots of wear on the spine that breaks color it's like you got color breaking creases but then you've got like a where the paid book got folded over so there's like a color break that goes down through there um 117 a couple of ticks but other than that really nice book probably needs to be clean but other than that it's a really nice book number 118 also a couple of little ticks like there at the staples like you know um but other than that fairly nice book um uh, probably again i'll be safe like a seven just to be conservative and then uh 181 the big thing here is it has if i can get it to show again one gigantic uh color breaking crease you can kind of see it there runs through miss marvel's head all the way down so it's like right kind of there all the way down the book um so that's it so this i don't know there's some this may be the biggest one in there i think there's something special about this book somebody have to tell me daredevil's on the cover Daredevil's <laughs> on the cover. Maybe it's the first time that whole Avengers Assemble thing gets said. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Is there anybody other than MT that's in that's interested in uh no, nah, there's no press in that one, MT. Is anybody the other than MT that's interested in the store lot? If so, I'll stick around and do one more. If, if there's multiple people that are interested. What era is the store lot from? Uh, they're all Silver Age. 
they're all low grade um like three five ish most of them for the most part three five to five uh the oldest book is journey into mystery 98 and the newest book is uh thor 145 which is still what 1966 maybe well jeff silversmith said yes so hey that's all, all right all right i'll stick around one more starting bid 1750 yeah yeah no. <laughs> Yeah, it's a shame about that book. That's a really nice cover. There's there's no pressing that crease out right there uh, at all. Comics Phantom at 90. Oh, Discovery Bay folded, huh? I know Discovery Bay's game. He, uh, he heard me say I'm going to stick around and sell that Thor lot. <laughs> Saving his money for that. So, how many players we got in on this? We got Comic, Frank. Yes. Still folded. Is MT still in on this? MT still in on it, right? Uh, I think he was just commenting. I don't think he actually. He, he was back at 27. MT, uh, you still in on this? Okay, yeah, he was. You know, that cover there is one of the only covers I've ever seen with just all men. Which one? Uh, <laughs> huh. How about that? Appreciate it, uh, MT. So it's just between Frank and Comic Phantom. Frank wants to go 98. It'd be funny if you asked the artist about that cover and they'd be like, no, nah, Wasp is there. You just can't see her. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> a little they, special. All, they always used to throw Wasp in there, but she was so tiny. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Comic Phantom has it at 100. There Frank, you go. Frank wants to think about it. He's thinking. Frank the tank. Frank the tank. There you go. <laughs> and uh, just a reminder when five dollar increments at this point. Oh, he folds. Okay. All right. So, uh, Comic Phantom, that'll be uh, 109, my friend. Uh, PayPal is somewhere in the, one of these corners. And like I say, if you don't mind, either shoot me an email to the, uh, the same address or hit me up on IG with your uh, shipping information as opposed to putting it in the PayPal. I'd appreciate it. All right, congrats. I will go to CLG and then I'll show the promote the statue one more time. CLG, it's on you, man. All right, guys, it's gonna be my last one, unfortunately. Uh, I got an early, early morning. Got a couple bite now. We got a little Wolverine, uh, X20, Wolverine and X23 lot, 90 bucks buy it now. And I'm gonna put the Wolverine one somewhere in a near mint, uh, near mint minus range. X23 is gonna be. You know, near mint plus. So ninety bucks. Anybody wants that? And still got the uh, Spider Gwen one, the Anika variant, one seventy five. That shipped. Anybody's interested? In that, just let me know in the chat. <clears throat> and then for my auction, we got a uh, Delato. Uh, this is a Virgin variant. Uh, Daredevil Annual uh -oh. One. Uh oh. And this thing is a beauty. Got a COA on the back. One, if this is number 388 of 600. And you go on eBay, and this is a hard to find. So you'll find the uh, trade dress, but the, the, the Virgin is extremely hard to find, obviously, with only being 600. But we're going to start this off at. To start off at a dollar. Ooh, man. Confident. It's a nice uh, Daredevil cover. Beautiful book, man. This thing, this thing, this, 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 this don't do it justice. You got to see this thing in person. Beautiful book. Yeah. 
You gotta buy now on that uh, Wolverine. That's, that's Daredevil annual one? Yeah, yeah. Daredevil annual one. Okay, Jeff Silversmith, I got you. He says, pull me my right box. Now <laughs> right now it's 30 to Mike Bravo for DD. 50, Frank Webster. Everybody went and looked it up real quick. Yeah, <laughs> you, this book is beautiful, man. And like I said, one six or three eighty eight of six hundred. It's hard. Yep. I got so many pre order stuff, man. Like uh, I know one day I'm just gonna come home and it's gonna be like ten packages. Some Del Auto pre order stuff, some Venom stuff. It's all kind of stuff. Yeah, Jeff Silversmith. Yeah, Jeff got you, me. It law all in like speed payment or PayPal. <laughs> Click and pay. Yeah, right. Straight up for sure. <laughs> yeah, don't miss out on this one. I'm telling you, this is a you will not regret this buy. This is a beautiful book. It's a beautiful book. Is it slab worthy? Oh, it's slab worthy all day for sure. Slab worthy. And, and it'll come with the uh the clear uh Back report as well. I'll leave that in there. Uh, Does it come with cookies? And it's got <laughs> DLG. Hey, not this time, but hey, you know what? You put enough money in it. You put enough money on this deal. I'll, I'll throw some some whatever you want in there, man. Some house, <laughs> whatever you want. Uh, yeah, I'll put some dry. I'll put some dry ice in there with some milk. <laughs> you can have yeah, whatever you like. <laughs> Just ever since all, all I do is need is one click. <laughs> all I need is one mic. Yeah, don't miss out on this one, guys. Oh, yeah, silver prices is up. I had to look it up. Also, he said silver is way up right now, so I had to look it up. <laughs> it is up compared to what it was. Like a long ago. There you go. Everybody's folded at this point, right? I think so, but there's still some time left on the clock. You got to talk it up, man. Talk this book up. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm telling y'all, man, you don't miss out on this one. How many were made of this book? Again? 600. There's 600 of this one, and I think the uh, trade was, I think, eight or 900. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, the Virgin only had six. Yeah. Uh, I got something. I got a Bilson Kevich that looks just similar to that. It's nice. That's a nice, uh, with, that rain, with the rain and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the rain on it. Mm hmm. All right, so it's hard to look for, man. It's, you got to see it in person. You know, this screen don't, this camera don't do it any justice. Yeah, that, those type of covers, because like I said, I got an electric. Yeah, this black it's cover like this, it's hard. It's, it's, yeah, it, it, it's, it's one of those things when you see it in person, you're like, man, this needs to be You can't see all the detail. There's so much detail in this thing, you just can't see it. All. Uh, is that it? Does it go to Jeff Silversmith? Because that was between him and Mike. Nola forward. No yeah, yeah. Larry folded. Put it in my pocket. Frank yeah, I think it goes to Jeff. <laughs> All right, Jeff. I appreciate it, man. Congrats. And uh, I got those uh, Wolverine books for you. So appreciate it, everybody, man. Thanks for having me. Um, shout out to what we got 100. I think we had 100, almost 200 people watching at one point, man. So make sure you uh, hit that uh, thumbs up button. 
And yep. uh, appreciate everybody. Shout out to the panel. And uh, we'll see you all next time, guys. Yep. See you. You'll be on here right. Thursday. Have a good one, man. Yeah, for sure. We'll see you on uh, Thursday. Who that? All right. All right. Take care, man. Nice to meet you. Have a good mm -hmm. one. He said payment sent already. One click. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. All right, so I got 10 spots available. I want to thank everybody who's already claimed a spot, but I got 10 spots available for this. And I think it, it's a pop. Yeah, so it's in the video description below. It's already populated. Check the video description below if anybody's interested. There's 10 spots available. If we can just get this filled up, we'll raffle it off at the end of the show. But I got 10 spots available for this amazing Venom Koto. Bukaya statue. Uh, go to eBay and look and see what these are going for. It is about a three hundred dollars statue, and uh, yeah. So we'll move along to who's next, Harold. Yeah. Yeah. We'll go to Harold and we'll go to who that. All right. So this is going to be um, three book lot, all first appearances. Um. So we're going to start with. And we're gonna start it at. I have to start at fifty bucks because we have the first appearance of Cable, New Mutants eighty seven. This is the second print. So we have the X Men one seventeen first appearance of the Shadow King, new stand, actually, um, actually really really good, high grade copy, very very good condition. And then X Men two twenty one, first Mister Sinister, who's supposed to I guess be the next new villain for the X Men movies. As you see, another very high grade copy. <clears throat> so fifty dollars, fifty dollars, <throat> and nine dollars shipping. So New Mutants eighty seven. Second print. X Men 117. First print of Shadow King and the Origin of Professor X. And 221, Mr. Sinister. This is a direct edition, not a newsstand, but still. I just see no issues. Whatsoever, no creases, nothing. A very, very good book on its own. This book is picking up steam very, very rapidly. We have. Hey, Mr. Letson. I told you they're coming. Here they come. Hey, <laughs> like Ron would say, hey, Mrs. Let. That's right. Uh, Dwayne Scott, 68. Beef jerky. That's one book I haven't found in any of my LCSs, man. That X Men Two was it two two twenty one? Twenty one. Sinister. Yeah, I haven't said like I see a lot of books and all of a sudden it's just this one that hadn't turned up in the last like year. I'm I was, I was at my, this uh, this LCS. They had four of them, four of them behind the counter just waiting. So I said, okay, I'll take two. And and that's because what the speculation was because of the po was it the post credit scene uh, apocalypse yeah. The, the Dark Phoenix? Was it Apocalypse, it was apocalypse. or Dark Phoenix? It was apocalypse. apocalypse. Okay. So that's where they had the Nathaniel West and or I, the Wessex building. And I think they went totally opposite. In what, not opposite, but they didn't have it in you know the next movie. Yeah. But see, and they did it wrong, was that you should have introduced Sinister first and had him as the lead into Apocalypse. You know? Mm -hmm. that's, how, that's how it always was. He was in, he would Sinister was made by Apocalypse, basically. So Cause 
Sinister's been around since the 1800s. Not really, Warren. Probably one of the more disappointing X Men movies made. Yeah. Well, I think Phoenix was more, but Apocalypse had yeah. it. I was enjoy. I enjoyed Apocalypse. It was. I ain't saying not saying it was good. I enjoyed it. You know. Yeah. Phoenix yeah. was so bad that people said it was so bad. I didn't even go by to still go by and watch it. Oh, neither did I. Yeah. Uh... But I mean, yeah, Apocalypse like they should have made like Thanos. Like made him much bigger. Like how they made Thanos big. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He should have been. Ooh, he was, like, yeah. the same height as the women. That were co-starring with him. Yeah, and they shouldn't have killed them all. You yeah, know, they, they, they should have did them something like some like Stano snapped them away or something. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you know, was, he was. Uh, yeah, they just only planned was, to use him for one movie. You know, that was it. That was their whole plan. Here's the villain for this movie. Okay, next. You know. Yeah, the the, the one of the biggest baddest villains for X Men. We're gonna right. use him one time. That's it. <laughs> I mean. Look at what they're doing with him in House of X and stuff. You know, it's like there's so much you could do with that character, and y'all just decide. yeah, way, way. I mean, I mean, just all you gotta mm-hmm. do. Is, I mean, they could have learned what what they did with Thanos. Come on, Thanos yeah. did 10, 10 years before they actually used him, and he yeah. still didn't officially really kill him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, they killed the original Thanos. The other Thanos came in their time, and they dusted him. So Thanos is still out there. Talking about some like paradoxical time travel. Yeah, this this uh, uh, this pandemic is messing up my movie going experience. Man. <laughs> <laughs> so many movies we could be enjoying, man. That's what I'm saying. I want to go. I'm dying to see Black Widow. Never gonna get to. I'm dying to see anything right at this point. <laughs> yeah, here you I want to see Tenet. I want to see Tenet. That looks amazing. Yeah. Yeah. All they're doing is pushing back everything, even stuff that that's already got delayed, you know, like Avatar. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got. Years old until Avatar comes out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, we got beef jerky and comic the high bidder. We also got Let in on this. Uh, is it just done two? And yeah, because uh, Dwayne's got folded. Yeah, on, so man. Larry. Let- let hit him with that last bid. Let hit him with that last bid. Drop the drop that hammer. Oh, let drop that little hammer. He come. He come. The little hammer probably be eighty eight. <laughs> <laughs> come, come on, man. I know you got your last unemployment today this week, man. Come on. Everybody's waiting on that stimulus check. Man, you waiting on something, buddy. I don't. All I'm gonna say, they need to do something. <laughs> There's too many people unemployed, man. We gotta let people go back to work or something. <laughs> well, let's see what they say. Come the arson would be the, the I, I, I'd be curious to see who the first one was gonna be. It'd be like a 4 a.m. auction pop up. Oh, uh, be trying to get the first one to get the stimulus money. He said, get comfortable. I don't think we're going to the movie theater at the time. So, and we ain't going to the movie theaters. They ain't going to have no movies like talking about streaming wise. I can tell you that. The money is not damn streaming yet. <laughs> I told you. That's going to Mini Hammer. It's over. Put it in his box. <laughs> <laughs> you suggested it to him. And Beef Jerky said, there you go. 90. Uh, what say you, Mr. Lutt? There you go. Ooh. All right. All right. He's come to play a little bit. You're a little late, Jeff So Smith. You're a little, a little behind, a little lag. Put that on leave, that leave on that. Leave his underbid, though. Leave his underbid, guys. So Jeff yeah. Saber Smith is still in it. So we got three people in the mix. Beef jerky and comics fold. So uh, the high bid does go to Mr. Lab, but Jeff Silver Smith, do you want to go 105 or no? I'll give you just a second because the high bid does go to Mr. Lett, and I'm trying to. Oh, uh, he was trying to help. So you want to go? You want to fold? Just so just put in fold, man, and we'll give it to Lett. There you go. Appreciate it, man. All right, congratulations, Mr. Lett. All right, stream already Lett. catching up now. Look like yeah. Nine. And then, uh, I, I, I have your stuff on. I have your shipping in the IG. So one nine, we got it. 
Thank you, sir. All right, we'll go who that, and then I'll show that lovely statue again. You're up who that. Ooh, I'm up. Oh, ooh, I'm just checking up some payments. All right, thank you for those payments, Frank Webster, and another person. Um, all right, like I said, I showed these hip hop. These are all near mint, probably near print plus. Two hundred and twenty-five dollars ship. Uh, if not, I know somebody who said they'll probably do a payment plan with me, but. He said I can show it one more time. So one more time it is. So if you need to look these up, um, you know, look them up before because when after Edwin's around, we start back over. I'm just gonna pull them in and hold them for the other person. So we got Black Panther number seven hip hop cover, Bill and Cabbage cover. Like I said, these are all near mint. The Thanos one, one of my favorite looking ones with the the gems. Uh, you got that one. You got. Unworthy Thor, number one, hip hop cover, and I can spit out the prices for you guys if you want me to. But this one's about uh, forty dollars on eBay. We got another one that's about forty dollars on eBay. This one same price, forty dollars on eBay. So that's like one twenty already. This one I've seen sell for over fifty. This is the Star Lord one. So he had like one seventy right now. This one, same issue between 50 and 100. So you're like at, what is that, like 225 to 30 or something already. And this one, 50 to 100, I see it listed at, you know, lower grade copies, like 50 up to 100. So it's about $300, you know, depending on condition of books for these hip hop. So I'm saying 225 shipped. So I had signature confirmation on them. Um, so that's why it's like 225. And it cost me probably like, I think, like, I think it's $11. So there you go. 225 shipped on those all near mint. Um, let me show this off. So we got Avengers 8, first appearance of Kang the Conqueror. This is probably about a four to five copy. The person I bought it from said a four off white to white pages. I looked it over. I think it's between four and five. Uh, he's very conservative on his grading. Um, so key issue for a villain that's, you know, they're hinting at is, you know, next Avengers probably be Kang or, um, or Nihilus. Uh, so I think it's going to, I think it's going to be Kang myself. Um, actually, because I have a few copies, but I'm going to ask 350 shift on this, 350 ship. So a beautiful beautiful copy you know it's just a, you know that's some wear on the spine so yeah. sorry about the glare but you know it's in, i put it in mylar so uh, 350 ship and has a pretty cool date stamp july 9th 1964. So there you go 350 shipped on that um so let's do like i said a little kind of Venom slash could be black suit builder. Um, and this I'll start off with these two books and then I'll explain the Secret Wars 8 and if we want to get up to that price. Oh, let me show this other buy it now real quick. Um, I got two slabs, 725 shipped. 725 shipped and you're going to get Spawn. 174 9.8 first appearance of the gunslinger spawn and you'll get 175 as well 9.8 so you get 174 175 at 725 ship it'll be fully insured you have to sign for it all that good stuff so 725 shipped on the both of these spawns you can look them up very hard to find at all if you find them raw you're spending like over a hundred, probably hundred until two hundred dollars raw. But yeah, because those had a low print run, didn't they? Yeah, low print run, and they're uh, those. No, that's not flaw books. Uh, ref, not even flaw. I boxed them, and I told you who I got them from. If you watch my channel, no, that's they're not mine. Books. Somebody else bought mine. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sub me up, uh, nice nine five six ref. You'll see who I got them from. Um, I got Venom One, uh, second print variant. Oh. And I'm going in uh, Venom 22. Uh, uh, I think this is damn. I forgot who uh, who did the cover. I just looked it up too. Um, 
signed by Donny Cates and Stegman. Signed by Donny Cates and Stegman. So let's start off with these two books, uh, and I'll explain other. But these two are, are you know near mint condition. Uh, let's start the bidding at. I know the you know Donny Cates and probably Stegman. I know they did the CGC signing. I think what it was like fifty dollars for Donny Cates. Uh, so I'm not gonna start it at fifty. Let's start it at thirty. You know, sorry, thirty nine dollars ship for both of these. So, yeah, they charge a sign anyways when you go to a con. So yeah, so I start off with two book lot. Yeah, you like those, Jeff? Man, get them, man. Get them, Jeff. <laughs> get them, Jeff. What? Why don't we just simply ask Jeff? Jeff, what are you looking for, Jeff? What do you want us to bring out, Jeff? We'll go dig it out for you. That's just it. He likes to be surprised. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, he, he put seventeen fifty. He would be nice surprised what I got on the side just in case. Look at him. <laughs> just in case. I'm just letting him know. No, I do not have, yeah, man, I don't have a CLA. I don't have one. But you can you can look at Steg, uh, Stegman and look at his signature here. Yeah, it's, that, it's that's same. her sick. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's him. And Donnie Cage, you can tell that's his chicken trash. Come on. <laughs> so, First oh, let me show you other book. Auction. Yeah, that would be great. That would be difficult to pull off, Alex. Yeah, <laughs> the expensive auction. Yeah, it would, it would it be. Fun to look, watch. It wouldn't be fun to buy. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, Jeff. I was watching your your stream today. I hadn't finished it. I got like 25, 30 minutes in. I could I couldn't figure out whether he was talking about Pacific Coast time or Eastern time. All right, so we had one thirty-five. I do have this book. Um, it says, "Dude, this is slab worthy." Um, no, well, look, this is beautiful. I'm a Take it out, and show it all, and then I'll show you what the, what the bidding would have to go to. If not, I'm definitely gonna send this there. Um, I already had, yeah, I already had it. This is the back, no spine ticks and things, uh, but I'm still gonna get it pressed and clean if nobody gets it. So, still gonna get it pressed and clean. Um, like. High grade, I won't say nine four better. I just want to be safe, but I, honestly, I'm thinking, I think it's nine eight. But um, in order for us to get that book in, I hate to you know do it. Um, we would have to get to one eighty. Just being honest, I mean, look what that book is going on in well, for nine eight. So you think you need to go to Wars eight in for one eighty. Yeah, 180. Huh. Yeah. It's it's nice. It's really nice. I showed it off to the first edition and a few other people. Um I guess it's a real nice condition. But if not, I'll definitely definitely put it back. Time is still some time left, but uh yeah, it's, it's crisp. This Chris Beater, right? Yeah, it's real Chris. This is a double sign, Stegman and Donny Cates. This is number one variant. And this is a beautiful cover. Uh, I think uh, Don Tyler Christopher. That's what, that's what it was. John Tyler Christopher. All right, I've been up 22. Uh, Jeff Silversmith is a high bid at 40. What say you, Larry Hoover and G Rip? Larry Hoover. I was on a rap I think I'm thinking of a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> the Hoover vacuum cleaner, right? Uh, I don't even know how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> we got a, we got a, what are those? What are those? Not, not, uh, right. Vacuum cleaner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we I thought Larry Hill was like a like a drug uh, drug kingpin. <laughs> I could be wrong. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, double sign, Donny Case and Stegman. Like I said, at one eighty, I throw in the Super Wars eight. It's it's real high grade, but we're still basically probably at what or at what 
Donnie Case charges now for a signature with CGC. So. Mm-hmm. 50 to the Smith of Silver. So three guys are in it. Nobody's folded yet. Does anybody else want to jump in? Double signed. Double signed. Oh, Pretty nice to cover one. that. It's not getting as much. Uh, I like the gun and the light on it. It's like this is, this is real cool. All right, Juba folds, but it's between Larry and Jeff. Larry has the high bid at 55. All right, so that's still, so still got this playing in the wings. Still got that playing in the wings, but if you're not into that, I do have that first appearance of Gwenpool. I do have the spawns. I still have the spawns. First gunslinger. They got they got two of them listed together on eBay for like thirteen hundred. <laughs> Dang. Yeah. Seven twenty five. Seven twenty five ship. Seven twenty five ship. I'm surprised Jeff had said next. <laughs> All right, so Larry folds. Larry folds. Goes to Jeff Silversmith for 60. 69, sir. I don't have anything for him. So 69. Unless you wanted that other book, you know, let me know. Unless you want to keep going, Jeff. <laughs> let, <laughs> let us know. <laughs> let us know. That's like, come on, please, please. Come on. No, I got yeah, for what, 120 more. 120 more is just. Yeah, 120 more for a freaking. No, he wants the spawns now. He wants the spawns. He says, <laughs> "Give me those spawns." Well, I guess well, this will be free shipping then. If you want the spawns, if you want the spawns, this will be free shipping. So you know, so that was that was the that was shipping included. So I don't know if he's. <laughs> How much were we doing the spawns for? Six, uh, seven twenty-five shipped. For both. Uh, so yeah, for both. Yeah, wow. so it'd be seven eighty five ship for all of this. Yeah. So if he's he's like, yep, that's what he wants. Yeah, so yeah, so and, and Rob said, "Damn, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah." Hey, Rob, I, honestly, I was just gonna hold on to him because I saw the prices of the spawns going going up. I said, yeah. I just hang it, you know. But I said yeah. I'd throw it out there and give somebody a chance. But yeah, you got him, Jeff. Uh, this and. It was 785, I think, shipped. 785 shipped, and um, they'll be fully insured, so you probably got to sign for it. So, so, so good, good pickup. Jeff, we got to get a video of you, you, you showing off your collection, man. Anything, anything he, thought, he, he, did, he did one today. He it did one today. Yeah. Well, I thought yeah. it was just a stream. But he showed off no, his collection. No, well, he, he showed off stuff he bought in some of the collection, yeah. Yeah, he okay. showed off the, uh, the, the Tech 880 and the cacophony he got from me and some other stuff. Yeah, I think he got the ASM 194 from me. I saw yeah. that. Yeah, I didn't get all the way through it. But yeah. yeah, and anything over 500 insured automatically gets. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Say, yeah anything, it automatically gets signature, yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. you, that gotcha. that's why I said he's going to have to you know, sign for it like last time. All right. Um, are you done uh, with that? Oh, no, man. I, uh, I got uh, I got at least one more in me. At least okay. one more. Well, I'm going to show the statue off, and I'm going to go to Adrian. I'm going to just take one minute to do this. Uh, I got 10 spots still available. A lot of people are already paying. Um, we'll be trying to move this, see if we can't move it by the end of the night. If not, we'll just carry it on into, we'll go to IG. It's already on IG, but we'll go to IG and uh, we'll just keep pushing along. But there's only 10 spots available. So uh, $20 a spot. I don't know if there's a lot of statue collectors out there, but this is a very, you know, very detailed statue. Probably one of the best Venom statues I've ever seen. Um, but if anybody's interested, if you go to the video description below the video that you are watching now, you can see what spots are available. There are 10 spots available. And uh, just a few seconds, we'll move along to Adrian. If you guys want a spot, just say, I'll take spot, whatever. And you claim it, I'll put it in. And then we'll just keep moving along. All right, San Diego. Oh, 
Thanks everybody so far who's uh, been jumping in and bidding. Gotta buy it now. I got the Duchess Peach Momoko Virgin Variant. This is 100. Buy it now. Plus shipping. The peach. The peach. Just a friendly reminder everybody who does bid uh, on my stuff tonight and wins, you'll be entered to win this cool little Star Wars pack. First, uh, Doc Afra. Got a couple things to it, but you know what? It's not terrible. Actually, it's really nice, but it's got it's got a few flaws. But hey, you could win it. Get off my back! All right, don't we all? We all have flaws. All right, so let's try. We saw some of this earlier, but let's try some more. Let's try a little four action again. We got four, one through four here. Uh, we got number one. I'm going to start this at, uh, I'll start it at 30 bucks, guys. 30 bucks. Starting at 30. Four, number one. We got four, number two. This is the variant. The one that you want. Ooh, 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 ooh. Part five. Decline. Decline variant. I'm letting you know that. Okay. Tom Hiddleston. <laughs> ah, yeah, I tried my best. Tom Hiddleston. Uh, Thor number three. Okay. And uh, Thor number four. This is where you see that, that thing over winter that looks at you. And then this is just a random throw in for you. It's Thor the World. One. So, it's actually five book lot starting at 30. Go ahead, have fun. We're getting lots of love in this, Alex. Yeah. Can, can, can you add in some Thunderstrike for us, please? <laughs> <laughs> Thor core? Can we get some Thor core? Oh, hey, Thor core. The Thor core. Come on. <laughs> Thunder. Thunder. Yeah. Now, did you go? Did you go check out the Thor cartoons? Thor cartoons. Come on! I told like you. Like old ones. Yeah, from nineteen sixty-six. Old cartoons, like oh man, I, I can't even get started. Old cartoons just bother me. It's <laughs> the only time he's had. Well, only time he had his own solo cartoon. He's been in you know, all the Avengers stuff, but you know. And all the movies, yeah, all the cartoon movies. Yeah, I got you. No. Uh, I, I was into the old Spidey. Old Spidey. Yeah, 67, yeah. But he had old Thor, he had old Fantastic Four. You, know. you guys remember the Fantastic Four movie from like, what, 1991? <laughs> like, yeah, the Roger Corman Fantastic Four movie. That's so awful. It was, a hey, but... But good, right? right? It wasn't, it, it was bad, but it wasn't horrible. It was bad just visually, but like, Story-wise, it wasn't that bad, you know? You got to go uh, check out the uh, video. If you really want to watch something amazing, you got to go check out the video with clips from the uh, Japanese Spider-Man show. I've seen some of those clips. I don't know. Uh, For the Indian Spider-Man. guys, I don't know what it is. If anyone else, it's the Klein variant, if anybody wants to look it up for me while we're doing this. Door number two. I think um, it's one. I think it's a one in 10 or a one in 15. Okay. Well, yeah. Sure. J List Comics says that the 90s Fantastic Four is the best Fantastic Four that we've gotten so far. Actually, I'm, I won't disagree. It's, it's really hard. Like, the Jessica Alba movies had potential that they yeah. didn't capitalize on. Well, yeah, true. True. I love they think I'm too young. <laughs> and, and then the Ace. other one, who cares? That fan forced it. Yeah, I will be called young any time now. I will take it. Thank you. Well, he he he. You are right, comic fan. He doesn't. He doesn't. I think he's too young to know those. But you know, it is what they're those of us who still remember. And don't get me started singing the theme songs, people. Do it. Yeah, we don't need that. 
Oh, we do need that because I have Thor books up right now. So we need. We're at thirty, by the way, guys. We're at thirty. If anybody was interested. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much going on in chat. I can't tell what is going on now. Now the question I got to ask: Who remembers the actor who played the real, li the live-action Spider-Man? Oh wow! What in the seventies? In the seventies. Yeah. Uh, the best thing about when he, like when he shot the net, it was just yeah. the net that worked. <laughs> yep. We're at thirty bucks, guys, for this nice Thor lot. Thor one through four plus. Uh, plus this is thrown in because you're beautiful. Thor the Worthy number one. Thor the Worthy. Which I'm pretty sure. Thor the Worthy, I think Walt Simonson did something in that book. Maybe he just did all the variant cover. I don't remember. Your local Nicholas Hammond. was born in 95. That's just great. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh, local plumber young. Does everything spider again. That's right, Frank Webb. So Nicholas Hammond was the guy who played that Spider-Man at the time. Just like, oh, I'm waiting. Well, you're not lying. Bro. You just won. <laughs> What's going on, man? Nobody, nobody bid on that. No, Jeff did. Oh, I okay. See, because these other other guys here on the panel, they they were just this turned into a a, a comic panel. <laughs> okay. we're, just, we're just talking. We're just talking. This Thanks stuff. a lot, HGM Law. Jeez. Just talking. <laughs> I tell you. you, you, know, a, you it's it's the simple Thor, things. Thor the Magnificent. So I'm being, I told you, you should watch the cartoon. Listen, why don't you go to your garage and find some comics? God of Thunder, <laughs> Mighty Thor. There we go. All right, so we got a winner, right? So congrats to Jeff. Uh, there's a PayPal email. We'll move it along to Justin. <laughs> okay. Uh, X Men. Let's do X Men because why not? Ten books. X Men. Start a dollar. Nine dollars shipping. You know the deal. Uh, we got one ninety nine. Two oh eight. Two forty something. Two forty five. <laughs> it's, it's, it's in the it's in the two hundreds. I know something. Two fifty one. Over. 252, 256, Psylocke, uh, 257, 265, 278, and 279. So from 199 to 279, 10 book lot starting at a dollar. Dollar, dollar, dollar. A whole dollar? A whole oh. dollar for some X-Men goodness, including a Rob Liefeld cover and a Jim Lee cover and a Mark Silvestri cover. You're welcome. Wow. Legends in this lot right here. Legends. <laughs> Jeff's just having fun right now, people. That he is. That he is. This what? one was. Yeah. So, this is Jim Lee. It's 252. Pretty sweet. This is Jim Lee, of course. Jim Lee. Dang, you're getting a lot of Jim Lee covers here. I didn't even realize. Who did this one? 256. Oh. Strong guy versus Rogue. Man. Who would, who would win that fight if Rogue couldn't take her gloves off? Hmm. I think strong guy. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, he can't fly, though. I don't know. It'd be a tough one. It'd be a tough one. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Andy Kubrick. There's an Andy Kubrick cover, too. A 
didn't give you grades, but I'll say they're all near mint except the Liefeld book, which has like a little nick right here. I think you can see it. I think that's his first work on X Men, if I'm not mistaken. It may be. It may very well be. It can looks. You the, can you see the feet on that book? Mercifully, he uh, didn't try to draw any feet. Wolverine doesn't even have eyes, dude. Look at that. Not even <laughs> He's got eye. eyebrows. That's it. That's it. <laughs> just That's eyebrows. Sad. Like I just black him in. No one needs to see eyes. Yeah, that's right. It's the shadows. Makes him more mysterious. Oh, comic comic phantom. That's that's sad. Sorry, brother. Oh yeah. Well. Sure, sure it is, Thundercat. I don't know. MT is at eleven. Silversmith's in at fifteen. Steven, you got to pump a few more dollars into there to be the high butter, brother. Steven Ferris, one of the owners of Ferris Air. Thanks so much for joining us. A spider up there? <laughs> no, he he. Would, they were talking about like uh, sh saying Shazam only works if you're a kid, and then I just started like that launched me back into um, the JLA story where all the adults got taken away from the Earth. So it was just like young. It was the introduction of Young Justice. So they were like trying to figure it out. Okay. <laughs> and and in that story, Billy was afraid to say Shazam. Because all the all the adults had disappeared, so he was afraid that if he said Shazam, he was going to disappear. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay, smart kid. Yeah, but eventually he does, and then he becomes you know, the way to figure things out. So. Yeah. <laughs> So you're getting ten books of X Men goodness right here. One ninety nine to two seventy nine. They'll be on your door on Wednesday or Thursday. That's right. Along with an email saying your book should be arriving today. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, go check your mailbox. That's right. <laughs> Look at that. All right, so who's still on this? We got Jeff, Steven, MT, and Copper Age Commando. Copper Age Commando. He's coming for you. Nope, he folded. So, oh. yeah. <laughs> So, M.T., Stephen Ferris, and Jeff Silversmith. What say you, Stephen Ferris, or M.T.? Stephen Ferris oh. folded. It goes right. to... No, but still, uh, M.T. is still in it. Oh, okay. M.T. and Jeff Silversmith. Or anybody else at this point. That's right. Anybody can still get in. Kevin. So sorry, Kevin. We messed you up there, buddy. Sorry. MT, you were way back at like $11, I think. Uh, are you still in this? You want to go 21? Southern 
Comic Geek is looking for some early moon nights, if anybody has any. Your local plumber's in the house. <laughs> we will, Jeff. We just got to give him, we got to give him the opportunity to chime in. I got a minute. There he okay. is. Okay. There, there. <laughs> I was going to say. All right. So, Jeff, um, you bought from me before. So, uh, yeah. PayPal's down there. Twenty twenty nine dollars total. This will go out, and I'll let you know. Make sure that you send me your address too. All right. Thanks a lot. So much. All right. So, since nobody wants to bid on my venom, I've been pushing it down y'all's throat. I'll uh, do a comic book since uh, people actually want to do comic books in the affordable auction. So, I'll do this next and uh, move it along to Adam. Okay, cool. This is going to be my last one, guys, for real this time. Uh, so, I'll, and again, I'll just truck through the buy now. It's again super quick. Doesn't seem like a lot of interest tonight. That's all right. So, Killing Joke, uh, first print, 9.8 white pages, 200 shipped, uh, Thor, 165, uh, first full appearance of him. Uh, 6.0 off white to white pages. That'd be 325 shipped. Um, Star Wars number one, 9.6 white pages. Be 400 shipped. And uh, Marvel premiere number one, first uh, full appearance of, of him as Adam Warlock, and first appearance of the. Soul Gym, 9.0, off white to white pages. That'll be 425 shipped. And then, of course, I do have the, the first Doctor Strange, but whatever. All right. So, Fire Quest, this is a low grade uh, Thor lot. It is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight books. Are there low to mid grade? I'll try to be as thorough as I can with them. Um, so the first one is Journey into Mystery 98. Um, it's got, you know, where at the corner, you know, where down here, creasing. Um, you know, it's got definitely where along the spine. Um, this book I probably would put at about a, uh, let's say lots of where on the spine. Everything's attached cover and centerfold although obviously with a lot of these books the covers are you know you want to be careful uh probably let's just say like a oh it's got a big color break increase that goes across the top there you can see it right through the journey and mystery yeah so let's say like three three five maybe um you got journey into mystery 110 uh probably about a three five four oh copy maybe um it has some tanning it's got some rippling in the cover that may show up uh you might see you might can't um and it's got like a water spot or something right there in the bottom and a little chip out of the corner down there um probably also in the 4.0 range uh, again completely attached uh 113 Everything is completely attached on this. I'll probably put it at about a four, four, five, maybe. You got some creasing down there. Um, obviously, again, with any of these books, creasing and ticks and wear on the spine. Um, some rounding and some chipping at the top. Uh, some chipping along the pages on the side there. So, again, probably a four, four, five on that one. This is the lowest grade of the bunch. This is uh, during the mystery 116 uh, cover. Centerfold is attached. The cover is falling apart. Okay. Uh, the cover is completely detached at the bottom staple. There's multiple like inch split here at the bottom, inch split at the top. And then I can't even know if I can show it, but like just chunks missing out of the spine. You know what I mean? Of the cover. Um, the top is hanging on by a thread and the cov bottom is completely detached. So probably like a one five or something really low grade on that one. Um, Thor one twenty. 
or Journey to Mystery 120, whatever. This one presents really nicely. The uh, it's all attached. The top, the cover at the top on the back, like it's really well attached. The front cover, like the front part of it. But if you like fold open the back cover, it's kind of really hanging on. You want to be really careful with that one. Um, other than that, it presents, you know, really nice. So uh, since it is all attached, I'll probably stay like a again, like a, maybe a four on that one. Um, three, five, four. Um, then you have the jump into the Thor titles. Um, change over to speed Thor. You got 138. Uh, again, everything is completely attached on this. It's got some spine roll to it that you might can see there. Um, probably be fixed. Uh, pretty nice on the corners there. Um, could use a pressing. Um, definitely maybe a clean and press. This one is probably like a, a four or five, let's say just to be safe. Um, this is number 145. Um, it has wear, you can see ticking and some wear along the spine there where it's like got folded, not just ticks, but where it got folded over and there's like color breaking kind of going, creasing going down through there. Um, other than that, presents really nicely, a little bit of a dog ear there. Um, I'd say probably about a four or five on this book, maybe to be safe. Uh, Probably four. Well, actually, it's got some creasing up here too. You can see um, in the black. So I'm. I'll just be safe and say a four point oh on that one. And then this is the highest grade of them. I'd say this is probably like a five, five maybe. Um, yeah, I jumped around there, but I say this one to last. Uh, Thor one thirty four first appearance of the High Evolutionary. So. That's it. It'll be nine dollars shipped, and we'll start it at ten bucks. And if there's any of them, I tried to, like I said, I tried to describe everything as best I could, be conservative. Um, but if there's anything else, any other questions you guys have, um, this one, like I say, is by far the lowest grade. It's probably on like a one point five, just because the cover is just it. The cover presents beautifully, but. As far as actually hanging on to the book goes, that's a whole other story. Um, so, uh, but again, like I say, I tried to go through those. So I'll just kind of show them here as my camera goes all blurry naturally. Don't die, camera. Come on. It's Thor. We know what they are. Yeah, but I wanted to be able to see the, you know, I'm going to unplug my camera real quick. I'll be right back. I'll just hop back in. Hang on. I don't want to say. I'm not sure that is really lagging too. Like, okay, so there it goes. All right, so fifty dollars to Jeff Silversmith. So far. Oh, Red Matos. Appreciate it, Rob Boswell. I got your appointment and I got your spots populated. All right, so MT is at eighty. He's the high bidder. Let me go ahead and take this off. I don't know where. Uh, Oh, I don't want to be back. Hopefully, what we're building them a Thor lot, right? Yep. Yeah. I I can't add them. It's saying that um, you need to connect your mic and camera before you can add them to the stream. So you got to add your mic and camera, Adam. It's not letting me. All right, Jess Silversmith is at eighty-five. Having an auction without the books being shown. Yes. I know, right? It's got to be a first. <laughs> that's, that's how I decided. <laughs> what, like, what, what are the good ones? Uh, <laughs> he didn't have to leave. He described the books yeah. beautifully. Yeah. yeah. I just go. went, there we go. I, sometimes it gets all blurry and I have to unplug it and plug it back up. So, uh, number 98. Uh, yeah, I want to be everybody to be 100% what they're getting on this. Um, 110, probably about a 40. 
113, also probably about a 4045 maybe on a good day. This one's like a 1 1.5, coming, covers coming to pieces. Um, this one presents beautifully, number 120. Again, be very, very careful with the top staple uh, on the back cover. Um, 138, I'm right down, probably about a 405 maybe, um, or 455. This is also probably about a 45 maybe. And then the big one is 134, which this book right here is probably a hundred and thirty dollar book by itself. Yeah. yeah, yeah, easily, easily, easily. I'm looking at this this bid, but y'all like yeah, you're really. buying you're the 134 and getting free. I tell you right now, you're not gonna see those any cheaper at a convention. I, I always look at Silver Age stuff. And they always want like at the cheapest forty dollars. Yeah, and that's where books fall apart. Yeah. What's up, Josh Heasy? <clears throat> Oh, they fight no one feet, three of them, three of them. Yeah, they need to go together and pull their money. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, nobody else is bidding on it. Might as well. I'm surprised because that 134, people have been going. Mm -hmm. That's a key book. Crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would just keep yeah. it. Yeah. This book right here is probably about $130 by itself. Yep. And until they make an announcement, that'd be cool. Like, what if what if they used to have evolutionary as the way they introduced the mutants? That would be insane. Oh, hurt his feelings. It's fine. He said, "I want to." Please, please hurt his feelings. <laughs> yeah, hurt your feelings. Check your, check your, check your feelings. <laughs> there is no crying. Right. Man, he does. Man, all you gotta do is do a, do a. Uh, oh, a HM well, thank you, Jeff. Bid, I man. appreciate you. Want them books? Uh, so don't, 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 don't mess around. You gotta put the. Uh, you gotta put that max see, in there. See, man. I'll pay for this book. Two hundred. Now, what do you want for all the rest? Of them? <laughs> 150. Screen guard was like ahead of the yeah, chat. Now it's like thing. behind. <laughs> okay. I like that. After. It's good. It's a good. Uh... Yeah. 98. 110. 113. Uh, 116. That's just kind of a throw in because it, I mean, if you need it, you need it, but it is definitely coming apart. The cover is, um, 120 again presents beautifully. Be real careful with the, the cover at the top. Um, it's attached, but you know, um, 138 and 145, and then. The uh, first high evolutionary. This is probably actually probably the nicest book in the lot as far as grade wise goes. I put it at least a five, 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 I, maybe a six on a good day. I don't know. I clean. I definitely clean it and press it. I, I don't want feel. I don't feel comfortable saying it's. I'm gonna stick with five, but I think it probably is higher. So, Comic Games folded, and everybody else. Red Matos. I, I'm surprised JB disappeared. He right. folded. Okay. So it's she just did? between these two. Yes, yeah, between Jeff Silversmith and MT. Well, I didn't even see Discovery Bay get in on it. Oh no, I'm sorry. No, he he wasn't. He wasn't. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, he uh, he he, uh, he just yeah. might have got the girls might have took his attention. Four. 
five, I think. Uh, Silversmith's folds. Yeah, we got a winner. All right, MT. Uh, you got my PayPal in the one of the corners there. And uh, again, if you don't mind, either hit me up on IG with the uh, um, either hit me up on IG or send me a separate email with uh, all your shipping information. Uh, I appreciate it. And um, like, yeah, that's it for me. Uh, if anybody on the rewind or anything has any interest in any of the buy it now, just uh, hit me up. And uh, but other than that, let me write who is that? MT. Uh -huh. Uh, so it'd be 189. All right. And I'll let you do your final thoughts and shout outs before you head out. Yeah, let me just write this down real quick. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, no, I appreciate it. Uh, good times as always. Uh, thanks for letting me, having me on. Um, you know, I don't ship the quickest, but I do ship safe. So everybody should see their stuff sometime soon, hopefully. Um, I'll try to get everything out this week, though. Um, and, yeah, everybody have a great week. Uh, hopefully, uh, you know, your work week goes well. And, uh, yeah, everybody take care. All right, All right Adam. Thanks, man. All right. Have there a go. good one, man. All right. We'll go to Harold. Oh, okay. All right. Someone asked for some early moon night. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Asking you shall receive. Well, you know, there's one <laughs> earlier, but that's at CTC right now. Getting inspected. But this is also... <laughs> getting inspected. That's right. <laughs> A little new that's funny to put it that way. That's right. Um, I got to start at 50. I mean, it, it, it's, I'm not going to say it, it's it's... it's I'm not going to say it's a 9.0 or above, but it's a decent grade. You know, could you also, let's say, give it to the press guy and go, but, you know, got a little crease going here. So, you know, I don't know if I can pull out or not. Really tiny one there. I don't know if you see it. So, Jeff Silversmith is in at 50. Got a couple little kicks, but it is Moon Knight 1. Yeah. Yeah. Hot book right now. One of the next best things if you can't afford that werewolf by night. That's right. Seven yeah. point geek fifty five. I'm anticipating a nine two and a nine four my werewolf by night. But uh, seriously? Dang. Sir. I got a ten thousand dollar book at least. Yes, sir. Dang. They will see if Mr. Silversmith wants to as a buy it now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it makes me wonder if we ever get to like uh, auctioning books in the thousands. If the uh, minimum increment should be like a hundred dollars. Oh, easily, easily. Yeah, yeah. like hundred dollar bid. And you know, five out five dollar increments at, at that point in time. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Oh, I yawn. So this will be nine dollar ship, of course. Look at him says, I'll be ready. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see him and Contender and Peanut go at one of them. No, actually, you know who really wants it? Chino. Chino really wants oh, it. Oh, man. He wants it bad. Yeah, those guys buy up everything. Well, you know, because it was, it, was, it, was it was one of those books that I, I found in my garage, of course. And um, so Chino's like, no, don't, don't. When you get when you get it, I, I want it. I want it. I was like, dude, if it comes back at nine two or nine four, hey, I, I I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna let let the offers go. You know? hmm. I, I I it deserves no less than that. You said the heritage. No, no, I said I was at CGC right now. Not when you sell it. I don't know. I don't know. I may I mean I may keep it because you know it's one of those. You know, rags to riches thing. You know, you, you, you I bought it for five bucks back mm -hmm. in the late eighties. You know, back in the late eighties, I bought it. You know, and I thought it was the second appearance because I thought the first appearance was that Marvel, that light blue Marvel magazine that they he, he came in, and I had gotten that. I thought that was his first appearance, but 
lo and behold, it is not. But I, you know, I got it, put in a put in a board, put in a bag, stuck in a long box. <laughs> I think we all do, uh, Josh Izzy. <laughs> Well, like I said, I've, I've gone I've gone through all the long boxes now, so no more surprises. Actually, that's where this that's where this one came from. Uh -huh. This is also in my garage. So right now we still have Jeff at sixty. Now, Jeff, if you do win this, I mean, your 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 other box is already packed, so I'm gonna have to do another another mailer for you. There will be nine nine extra. I don't know if Kina said uh, Officer Joker, but we said his name. All right. Twice. <laughs> All right. So I think uh, who's still in that? Was it just them two? Yeah, yeah, it was just them two. So it goes to Jeff Silversmith. Oh, yeah, he did fall. Okay. All right, sir. 69. 69 of that to PayPal. I have your address already. Good win, sir. All right. I'm moving along to who that? If he's ready. All right. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. Breaking out some of these. All right, show this by now one more time. Like I said, I think it's a four or a four or five. <laughs> um, Avengers eight. Avengers eight. Cool date stamp. Try to show it closer so you can see it. You know, some major damage is right here, but it's not like no tears or anything. It's just, you know, right. And they had it graded at a four with all white to white pages. I think it's in that four to four five range. Um, Cause the guy's conservative, real conservative grader. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it came back a five. But um, I think I said 350 ship for. So 350 shipping included. 350. Right. Right now. Let's see. Let's, this, uh, I'm going to just do two of these books. And if they do get bids, I'll throw in more books. But I'm just going to do the Unworthy Thor number one. And both of these books are near mint. And I'm going to do the Thanos. Thanos 1. Both hip hop covers. I'm going to do a starting bid at $40. $40. Basically starting the bidding off at what one of them sells on eBay. So 50% off <coughs> here. Here we go. $40, $9 shipped. Hmm. Lots of Thor love in this uh, affordable auction. Anybody want to start it off at 40? So look them up if you need to, but you should have looked them up, yeah. This one you can't really even find on uh, eBay. Yeah, I've never so, seen it one before. Um, you, they have one on listed with another book. I forgot what the price is, having price that, but they have that one and only another book. But they have sold listings, but you don't see it. Can't find it by itself anymore. Like They have no more listed by themselves unless I'm mm -hmm. looking at it wrong. So, forty dollars starting bid for that, and I'll show another buy it now, and nine dollars ship for that. Show another buy it now. Forty dollars, yeah, eighty-five uh, plus shipping. So, shipping will be nine. I'm gonna do eighty-five plus shipping for this. Gwenpool first appearance is Deadpool Secret Wars number two variant. Near mint copy, 
and I'm throwing in Sergeant One Scotty Young variant. So uh, 85 plus shipping, so it'll be nine dollars. So it was at 94. So if you want this buy it down 94, you get both of these books 94. Books. <clears throat> Yeah, that one's that that book's always like, it's like you know people always go like, what was first appearance cameo things like that because mm -hmm. that Gwenpool she's not in the book. She's not in the book. She's just on the cover. <laughs> <laughs> she's on the cover, and they say her, that her name. <laughs> Stop. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. yeah, Gwenpool Secret War. So I mean, I I. I always say that one's the first appearance, you know. And then the other one might be first full of, you know what I mean? So that'd be a cameo. Yeah, I guess you could say first <laughs> cameo. Uh, it's such a ridiculous, you know, it's like, it's just like a, a thin little line between a cameo and an appearance and a... Who gets it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's hard to do that one because, you know, some some cameos don't even say their name, you know, but this one's like yeah. her name and, and it's like a it's only cover. Right. <laughs> full full costume, full character, the name's there, you know. I'm with you. Jeff Silversmith in at forty. Yeah. I don't know if uh, I I could add more Jeff, but you know. I don't know what you if you want any of the other ones I had listed, but I mean, if we go 90, I can throw in this one, Star Lord 1. Still, basically, you'd be end up getting one of the books for free. Um, Star Lord 1 is a Sinkevich one. Or if you or, or if you want to go 90, you can choose that one or this one, America 1. I think this is America first series, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people, uh, you know, some of these tip hops are like either first appearances or first ongoing series. A lot of people forget that. So you got that. If you want to go ninety, you can choose between one of those two books. All right, Jeff got a steal. Yep. Yes, he did. Um, I, have, I don't have my YouTube on my phone. Did he say anything? He's the only one I did. Um, no, I said, did he say anything when I asked him the question? Uh, I'm at right I just now. see a thumbs up, but um, you're what talking about mean, 90 yeah. for for th potentially three? Uh, well, was, yeah, well, no, no, not all. Yeah. For, Three or uh, two, uh, two I showed. But if he wants the venom, okay. So basically, what you're asking is, Jeff, do you want to go ninety and then pick one go, of the well, other two? Uh, well, if he go, if he wants to go, he said he wants this one. I'll, for this one, I, I, I mean, it's a near mint copy. I have to do a hundred total. So if you want to do that, Jeff, let me know. I'll throw that one in for a hundred. So just let me know, Jeff. Whatever one you want. So what? Uh, what for the venom? So I got that venom one. That goes for that much. Yeah, look it up, bro. All right, he said a hundred. All right, so, all right. I'll throw in those three for you. You already got shipping because I can fit these three with the other two books and uh, put that all together with the two slabs. Yeah, I'll be packing it up tight again. <laughs> Bulletproof. Yeah, I actually put it. His stuff, I had put it in double box and with a medium, so it was like. If they if they broke that, it's on purpose. So one hundred dollars, Jeff, I got you. All right, so I guess I have to do a comic book in this uh, affordable auction, right? Um, <laughs> At least I do, got, <laughs> I do got eight spots available now. Eight spots for the uh, raffle that's in the video description below for a Venom statue, but in the meantime, we'll go here. We'll do this. Uh, it's going to be the only book that I have. And this round, it's not. I got some builder lots and stuff like that, but um, we'll start this off at uh, this. Oh, this is about a 9 0, it's about a 9 0 copy. Um, 
And we'll start off at uh, 20 bucks. Y'all know what this goes for. It's uh, first appearance of the Batman Who Laughs. It's the B cover. Yeah, it used to go for a lot cheaper, but now it's jumping up there because the other one is getting high. It's gotten real high. <laughs> yep. So it's about a nine old copy. We'll start off at 20 bucks. Is the That's front one of those cover, cover bees. I, I would have loved to see if Matina would have did that one. Yeah. One. The front is near flawless, but the back has a couple ticks. Uh, but I have this at about a 9 0. So if anybody's interested, appreciate that. If you see K. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. All right. <laughs> Larry, you got to go 21. That picture is yeah. hilarious. More Orborn and... Uh, yeah, and Hills pictures. and Villains kind of... Uh, yeah. No, I was talking about CK's little picture. I mean, no. you, you, see, okay. you got Mark Orborn and I uh, can't tell who the other person is. <laughs> <laughs> Larry Hoover's at 30. Larry Hoover said he got his shipment in. Boy, he about to get this. Oh, Mr. Oh, crap. What? Mr. Larkin. I told you. I told you. I'm Lurkers, boy. <laughs> oh, okay. We're going to start calling them lur- the community Lurkers. Yeah. Well, Mr. Unknown, I got some Miles variants. If you want me to put those up, let me know. Uh, ALD asked if the raffle spots don't fill up tonight, will it roll to next week? It'll go to IG. It'll go to IG throughout the whole, the rest of the week, and if they don't fill up in IG, then yeah, it'll roll over to the auction the next Sunday. Forty two to Mister Unknown. Mister Unknown. Her friend Mark. It's it's if you see K said it's uh, their friend Mark Wahlberg. I wonder if he brought the Funky Bunch. <laughs> Marky Mark in the phone. Yeah. Dang, you taking it back, Justin. God. You gotta you gotta believe, man. You gotta believe. That's about what 91, 92. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. It's just I a need... good vibration. Yeah. Come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. It's just sad. He feels it feels like he leaves the funky bunch of everything now. <laughs> yeah, brass monkey. <laughs> Can you imagine you walking to a lady in a bar going, Yeah, I was one of the funky bunch? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yeah, man, we were doing this uh, karaoke with my wife and her co workers, and uh, somebody had put in uh, Tupac, I Get Around, and none of them knew the song or the lyrics or anything. That just kind of showed me how old I was and how young they were. None of them knew. The song or the lyrics. Man. That's wow. right. The mm-hmm. monkey monkey. All Your right, Larry Hoover. Huh? Your wife's that much younger than you? No, her co workers. Oh, co workers are younger? Yeah, she's, she's six years younger than me. Mm. <clears throat> Nothing worse than putting out a, a pop reference and someone has to Google it. That's <laughs> seriously? seriously? <laughs> Anytime I tell someone, yeah, you should have seen the show Lancelot Link, they go, what? And all of a sudden you see them bend over and look at their phone. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Like, wait, maybe I've heard of that. I don't know. Let me look it up. That's right. And that's when you tell them no. Nope. Walk on the house. <laughs> All right, so Larry who has it at 45. Uh, I still feel like this is going way under. Yeah, it's way under. It's way under. But hey, it's an affordable option. Let's see. Poke it up, Peach. What are you thinking? You're still in there. Mr. Unknown's in at 47. <laughs> Appreciate it, Mr. Unknown. He's got the high bid at 47, so it's him. Larry Hoover. Appreciate the fold. Polka dot peach. It's actually just between them two. Larry's at 50. 
Yeah. I'm wanting to sell this one because I want to get a uh, want to get an A cover. To be honest with you, uh, I always like the B cover better. Like when I was at the shop that week, not knowing that it was the first appearance book, I picked mm-hmm. up the B cover. You know. Well, I want the A just because he's on that cover. You know what I mean? Exactly right. But I mean, this is the next best thing. It's a first print B cover. Yeah. Wait, is he in the reflection of Damien's Batarang? <gasps> Let me check. Oh my God, we just figured it out. <laughs> reflection of the Batarang. There is some other reflection, but yeah. It looks like there's a reflection of something. Can't tell what it is. I have a, I have a uh, magnifying glass handy. That's right. Sixty to Larry Hoover. And I finally was able to pick one, one of the A covers up, so it's, it's on its way to me. All right, LD, you got it, man. I appreciate it. Put that in right now. A, L, D. Collects. Unknown folds. All right, so does it go to Larry for 60? I think so, right? Uh, Mr. Unknown Foles, Larry. Yep, congrats, Larry. So it's going to be, um, I guess you're just first class, so it'll just be 66. Uh, that's my PayPal email. Please send friends and family. Uh, 66 total, 66 total, and we got seven spots available. Seven spots available, 20 each. If we get, if we just so happen to sell them all by the end of the night, and they all get paid for, we'll raffle this off at the end of the night. But in the meantime, I'm gonna move to Adrian, 8 p.m. Uh, that's me. Me, not RP. I'm fast. I'm you on the block, and I'm casting out the big man. Step up with Daryl above. I used to rap on the side. <laughs> All right. So, oh yeah, we got this. Yeah. Although I am giving one away, but like I said, it's it's perfect, but it's also not perfect. It's free for whoever bids on my stuff. In the meantime, hey, would you like a slab version of that? Oh, um, you can have it. That's right. Buy it now at two hundred plus ship. Two hundred. It's yours. Just, you can take it and be happy with it. Two thirty and ninety. You got anything, man? All right. If you want to know, buy it now. Beautiful doc. All right. I don't know how this is going to go over because I have. I feel like I have. Have we seen any DC tonight? I feel like there hasn't been any DC. Forever people. What? Yeah, yeah. Forever people. forever people. Well, let's try a, a, a mixed crazy DC lot. There's going to be 15 books. Ooh. Um, but it's a, lot of, it's a lot of cool goodness and like a lot of little fun stuff. Oh, you got the uh, All Star Squadron. This is number 47. This is the Mr. Todd McFarlane. Mm-hmm. Right? Okay. That one you don't see too often. Godfather. All Star Squadron, number 47. Uh, all the books will range from, I'm going to say, from like a 5 0 and up. Um, some are pretty nice. I mean, anyways. Oh, I'm going to start it. I'm just going to tell you right off the bat 15 books, turn it at 75 bucks. So there's that one. Here we got. The Super Team Family, number two. Dead Man and the Creeper. Yeah. We got Weird World, number one. Everybody knows this one. That is Inspiration, Batman, two. Mm-hmm. Then we got Adventure Comics. This is 389. This is about like a mid-grade, maybe like a 6.0. Comics 389. Got it. Boom. There we got uh, Flash. This is Flash 251. This is a book very fine. A very fine plus. Oh, 
Oh, we got Urquaman number 56. Another awesome one here. We got the Wonder Woman. It's a Whitman variant, but it's all cut weird and you can see there. Mm -hmm. Whitman DC variant. I think I had to create it like a yeah, I think that's okay. But then we got another Flash. This is Flash 280. This is like a uh, very fine. Very fine. Hey, then you know this one right here. Hey, doorway to nightmare. First, Madam Zanadu. Madam, doorway to nightmare. He's in Justice League Dark, right? What's that? She's in Justice League Dark, right? I believe so. Yeah, what is, she's also something else. She's in recent. Oh, she was in two. Men of War, number seven. This is a uh, very fine near mint. You got hey. the yeah, G for some reason thinks you can buy it now. The Darth Vader three. Um, yeah, because I have a slab. Yeah. Huh? I have a slab that I put up. Oh, then I guess he took it. <laughs> Uh, we got what? Adventure Comics 331. This is about a 5055. Oh, I'm tired. I'm tiring myself out. <laughs> got Metal Man number 51. This is about very fine plot. New stand, new stand room. Detective Comics 434. Awesome cover there. And it's for a, for a black cover, it's pretty awesome. Okay, and then, oh, look at that. Action Comics, guys. Number one. Oh, my <laughs> God. That's right. This is the 2017 version. Then you get your little verification that you can actually come. So, this whole huge lot, guys, starting at 75. I'll tell you it's worth well more than that. Mm hmm. Starting that action, 75. That action number one is a 2025 20, book by itself, and then that. That all star squadron is very collectible for Atomic Fallen fans. Yep. Um, yeah. What condition is that all star squadron in? If you if you if you know. Even that Madam uh, Zanadu, like that itself, it goes for some. I'm pretty sure twenty and up at least. Yeah. So guys, you're getting your worth. Getting your worth. It's really bad thing about so many books you have to explain so much. <laughs> mm hmm I just went back, boom, there they are. <laughs> oh, girl. So I figured give people a chance to jump in on a bunch of books. Starting big, guys, 75 bucks, 15 books. Isn't it? The, uh, Z yeah, there there was a Xanadu movie from like the late seventies or something. Olivia Newton John. That's right. She even song sings a song in it called Xanadu. That's there you go. Xanadu. That's right. I got to stop. Really, Adrian's gonna get mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really nice lot, man. You should probably hold up at least the uh, you know a couple of the. Uh, bigger books i have most of what you have otherwise i'd bid on it but i'd hold up that action the um the top of falling cover seventy five dollars starting big guys what did you say it was 15 books you got yeah, some silver age in there too some silver age adventure yeah it's a really nice lot it's a 12 center Mm -hmm. What, the first, like, John Carter's in there, too? Yeah, that, I think that was the, uh... The that, detective, that detective alone is at least a 10 to 20 hour book because those yeah, older right. Batman books are really, I'm telling you, man, those older Batman books are really just heating up. They're getting ridiculous. Mm-hmm. There you go. So somebody just bids... If, if we're, we're all confirming now. We're now just waiting for that. Yeah. So we want to put in the seventy-five dollar bill to get all these books. <clears throat> it's like five dollars a book. Yeah, it's a great price. That's a deal. Dang. Let me wait this night. 
or maybe not, maybe because it's not Marvel. They're like, yeah, we like it, but we don't like it. <laughs> I'm just not sure. Yeah. Well, that's thoughtful of you, Jim. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't singling you out, Jeff. But you don't got to bid on anything. You know. <laughs> Sharing means caring. You gotta buy now on the Star Wars Darth Vader three. Yep. Do you see I'll, that? I'll, I'll, okay. I'll the info and everything done after. All right. I wasn't paying attention because I would have loved to possibly gotten that one. But you buy this, Jeff. I'll throw in a free taco. No, <laughs> No love, no love. All right. Wow. We'll Dang. step away from that. We'll step away from the DC. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. You DC. better. You, you better learn. Oh my God. Forbid. Forbid. <laughs> All right. We'll move on to Justin. Okay. This is my last slot, and then I'm going to head out for sleep. So, as I like to end the auctions, uh, I think I've done this in the last four or five auctions. So Wolverine lot, 10 books, Wolverine, <laughs> 68 through 77. So you know what's in there. All right. All near mint, starting at a dollar, $9 shipping, uh, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73. Oh, yeah, here we go. 74. One more. Here we go. 75. Boom. Uh, 76. And 77. And 68. Yeah. So 68 through 77. Nah, very nice. 10 Wolverines. 10 near mint Wolverines, including 75, where he loses his adamantium. And makes everybody mm -hmm. sad. <laughs> Josh was just like, <laughs> well, there you go, man. Start right. at a dollar. Easy as pie. Baz Clark's in for 10. Thank you, sir. Yeah, he's getting ready to bounce. Uh, <laughs> yeah, as I was say it. That's funny. Are any of these? I don't know if any of these are newsstand. I don't think so. No, all these are direct editions. He says they're all near mint, Jason Woods. Yeah, all all near mint. All oh, Wolverine goodness. He is the best at what he does. That's right. Love, love, nice run. That's a sweet cover. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is. That's what I thought. Bone claws. Andy Kubert bone claws. Jason Woods at 15. Dwayne Scott at 20. I'll tell you what, man. That Wolverine 75, if you guys ever find a blue hologram, that's some money. If it's just a, like a like an error, just a dark blue, it's about an eight hundred dollars book. Like the no, green yeah. part here? Yeah, it's just, it's got to be, go to eBay and look up the Wolverine 75 blue, blue hologram. Wow. Yeah, I, I found two of them. Uh, I found two of them one day. Dang. Yeah, weird little errors like that you'd never know about, you know, unless somebody tells you. Mm hmm Into the savage land. All right. Thirty-one to Jason Woods. Thirty-five to Baz Clark. What's up, Baz? Yep. Oh. A very rare book. I'm just playing with the hologram in the camera now. Mm -hmm. Go blue, go blue, go blue. 
Yeah. Be a blue one. Be a blue one. <laughs> he won't know the switch when it comes in the mail. He'll have no idea. Shh. That's right. 41 to Jason. Omega Red. Is Omega Red supposed to be in the Black Widow movie? I don't know. I don't know. Possible. He's a Russian. I don't know. To have Taskmaster and then have Omega Red in the same movie, that'd be some some crazy villains introduced. That'd be awesome. Mm -hmm. There's no way she wins that fight. Who that still wants you? Wants to have? Who that still needs you? No, Jeff. No. (laughs) (laughs) Thanks for sticking around, Jeff. For for thugging it out with us, we appreciate it. As folds. So it's between Dwayne Scott and Jason Woods. Yep. What do you think, Dwayne? He folds. Oh, he folds. All right, so it goes to Jason for 41 plus shipping. Yep. So, Jason, that'll be $50 even. There's my PayPal over here under this way. Yeah. Um, and then uh, you can find me on, you can either email me at that. Uh, address also, and just send me your address and stuff, or you can send me a message on Instagram. Either way is fun. And uh, like I said, get that payment over to me tonight, and they will go out tomorrow. So, but yeah, but that, uh, yeah, you can just email me, Jason. Sorry, brother. Yeah, that's that's completely fine. Just email your info to that same email address. Um, but yeah, just wanted to say big thanks to everybody for showing up um, in the chat. This was a lot of fun. Everybody on the panel had a lot of fun as usual. Thanks to Edwin for hosting. Uh, always a great host. Hostess with the most is right there. So Edwin. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> but uh, but yeah. So so that's it for me. But again, just had a really good time. Can't wait to come back and do it again. Hi, right, Justin. Thanks a lot, man. We'll talk to you on the uh, social medias. All right, y'all have a good one. Thanks, everybody. Yes, sir. All right, hey, Justin. So who's next? Uh, Harold. Yes, sir. It looks that way. All right, so we're going to do a little Silver Surfer Black Lot. And we're going to start off with the number one first print. This is going to be a $5 starting bid. Number one, the fourth print. Very, very low print number on this one. This one is a landscape of number five. And I believe that actually is a that's the lovely uh, villain villain du jour. I believe that's Mr. Null. And then number one, this is the second print with um, Null crushing Silver Surfer on the by the neck. Really, really, and again, very, very nice copy. Very, very good shape. All right, what's the starting bid? Five dollars. Five dollars. Clock is going. I'm gonna step away for a second. I'll be right back. Okay. So Silver Surfer Black, first print. Silver Surfer Black, the fourth print. Silver Surfer number number five. This is the second print. And then Silver Surfer Black second print as well. This is a, this is a beautiful cover, it really is. So I think this is the this is the cover that makes the lot. This is the one. So again, all in really really good shape. All right, so we got T Pain at twenty one right now. 
your local plumber at 30. T-Pain is folded. Still time on the clock, so anyone else can get in. Right now, Yoko Plumber is ahead at 30. Beautiful cover of Noel and Silver Surfer together. Supposedly bringing him in on in December. And uh, looks like he's going to wreak all sorts of havoc in this Marvel Cinematic Universe, wherever he's going to be. Local Plumber at 32, J1A Bob at 31. We got JMT at 40. Yeah, they look at this cover. Yeah, this is this is not an easy one to find. Not at all. J1A Bob at 41. Get some great books with this. Like I say, Civil Surfer Black first print. Civil Surfer Black, the fourth print. Number five, the second print with the no back on it. But number one, the second print, the null appearance. Right now, we still have J1A Bob at 41. JMT and their local plumber are still in it. Anyone doing 42? 42. Great cover. Presents extremely well. No ticks, no nothing. One second print. Remember when this came out? I didn't even see it in the in the LCS. Very hard book to find. Very hard book to find. All right, we had local promo came fifty. J one A Bob at fifty one. Playing a slot machine? No, I just mixing my drink. All right. <laughs> Your local plumber at 53. Your local plumber at 60. I just know Noel's supposed to be coming in December. I'm not sure exactly where, but. I know they did big announcement. He was coming somehow in December. So, so right now we got your little plumber at sixty. At sixty, so if J1A Bob and JMT still in it. Got Sith AF in the house. Uh, I don't know what the condition is again. Absolutely, absolutely great. Absolutely great condition. So who's it just between your local plumber and and JMT now? Yeah. JMT, okay. Yeah, J1A Bob folded. So your local plumber and J 
JMT. JMT counters back. Counters back. Six to six. Local corner at 69. JMT at 70. A little slugfest going. You know, I, I want to put a question out to the chat. Who saw this coming with Noel? Anybody? Did anybody see this with coming with Noel? Not that, not that, or I, I, not that I can tell. I, yeah. I would say no because what two months ago those those threes were going for what twenty thirty dollars. Uh huh. Because I, I actually read that story, and I mean, it was a it was a good story because Venom had teamed up with Miles Morales, and they were fighting each other, and then Noel shows up, and um, you know, Miles Morales was from the just fresh from the uh, Ultimate un, Ultimate uh, Universe, I think that's where he was from, and he hated Venom because Venom killed his mom in the uh, the other universe, but this is the Venom from the six one six. So he didn't really know this venom, but still had hate for him. But it was a, you know, it was a good read. But this null, I just, y'all know how characters are. They kind of come and go and fizzle out. But this null has been sticking around. All right, so your your local plumber folds, so it goes to JMT for seventy. I think that's it. Yep. All right, so seventy nine. Um, total my, that's my PayPal, and then uh, IG me my your shipping information, or you can email it to me at the same email HDM law at Yahoo. Please, thank you, sir. All right, so we'll go to who that. All right, I got one last thing, one last thing. All right, I plugged this in a lot with another book. I'm keeping the other book. Let, me let this one go. And this one's going to be a buy it now. So it's going to be first come, first serve. I, don't, I think somebody might snipe it, whoever. So if somebody wants to do a starting line, I think, I mean, I'm thinking because of the age of the book, it's from 1949. So I'm thinking they're probably sniping when I say the price. But uh, it's going to be 115 shipped for this book. 115 shipped. Uh, it's a Jungle Comics 116 5.0. It's just light tan to off white pages. So I'm going to let this one go. I'm keeping the other one. This is Mad Baker. It has Mad Baker, uh, Rob Re Robert Webb arts. Um, looks like a uh, Mad Baker cover. But it's from 1949. Well, like I said, I'm letting this one go, but I'm keeping my other one. So, 115 shipped. 115. Is that shipped. a Golden Age book? Golden Age book, yep. 1949. Jungle action. Uh, 1949. I got I got a jumbo one, and I like the jumbo one better. So, I'm going to keep that jumbo one. So. Comic games. There you go, comic games. Like I said, I didn't think it was going to last long. So, oh, somebody's making something, boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, comic games. One fifteen. So that's the PayPal uh, comic games. I think you have Instagram. Just hit me up on Instagram with your address and everything, um, and I'll get this out to you. Uh, just to let everybody know, um, shipping will be something. I'll have some stuff shipped tomorrow. Most likely stuff I did on Thursday and Friday. Everything tonight and probably be on Tuesday. So I should, to Monday and Tuesday, should have everything, everything out. But you got it, Comic Games. Appreciate it. That's that's all I got for this time. Oh, 
All right. Let me know if you got a bounce. Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm I'm hanging around. I'm packing up some stuff. Uh, <laughs> if I find anything else, I'll definitely let you know on on this round. If I find anything else. All right, so I'm going to do a uh, Marvel lot, and um, sorry, it's actually only a two-book lot. Um, we'll do starting bid. Uh, I'll just say this. This book is about VF+. Plus. Um, I, I can press it if it gets up to... I'll tell you what. Um, we'll start off at $20, both of these. And, um, you know, if it gets a little bit above 20, not much, but a little bit, I'll just press it for free. But it's about a VF plus. It's a uh, Venom Lethal Protector newsstand. Like I said, it's about a VF plus. I will press it if it gets up to uh, 25. And I'm just kind of throwing this in. Um, it's just a really early Venom. It's near mint. Eric Larson, very early Venom. So... That's all I got for now. I got a DC lot, but DC was last time, so we'll do some Marvel this time. But say, uh, uh, newsstand Venom One, newsstand starting bid twenty bucks, and this is already in the mix. Just a really early. This is like the third round of Venom appearances. Um, he had that second round in ASM 315, 316, 317. And then this was like his third round where Eric Larson took over. Uh, but I got these two for starting bid 20 bucks. Newsstand. That is a great foil cover. Yeah. Yeah. Just one of those books from my childhood. I'm trying to collect. A, I'd love to have a Black Arrow cover, but there ain't no way in God's green earth I'm going to spend the money that they're asking for it. Yeah. Tell you what, I'll press it if, it gets, if, if somebody just bids on 20. I'll press, the, uh, I'll press it for free, but it's about a VF plus. And, you know, some stuff will come out after press. But that's all the, 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 the Marvel stuff that I pulled out for now. Um, I know when that, when that came out, I bought like four copies of the Direct because that's all I knew. Didn't didn't think about trying to get anything else out of that. Well, shops told you that Direct was the one to buy it because that's where, you know, collectors wanted. And little did they know, you know, 20, 30 years later. That's right. It's funny how things change. Yeah. Enough money in yellow or black or white version of it either because, you know, my, my comic shop didn't, didn't, didn't tell me anything about it. Mm hmm. How many spots you got left on your on your on your statue? Eight. Eight spots. All right. Hey, a lot of venom today. A lot of Thor. Wow! Can't believe nobody's interested. <clears throat> that type of night. It's all right. Twenty dollars starting bid, and I'll go ahead and press them. Anybody's interested? I guess books. Uh, I guess this isn't going to be hot until uh, there's a movie out again. So I guess that's how it goes sometimes. That's right. Comic games is appreciate that. Comic games. <clears throat> I'm going to go 21. Getting a very early Eric Larson 
Very early Eric Larson, Venom. I had a uh, Venom Gold CBCS 9.8, and I sold it before the movie. I think I sold it for like $200 or something. Wow. Yeah. I think that ended up being like a $600 book or something like that. Uh, did poor boy get in there? I wasn't paying attention. Did he get in on the buzzer? I don't have him in there. So, buzzer went off first. I see him on YouTube. I don't know. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I mean, he's on YouTube. I didn't see it on stream. Yeah, I, re I, like I reached over to like swipe the timer, and then I I, I go over and look and uh, poor boy. I'm just gonna give it to. Comic Games, because I didn't see if you were. He said on the guys. So the community is saying he did. Okay, so. Biggie okay, Shaggy. So I mean, okay. he, he was on the YouTube thing on my phone. So yeah, yeah, know. no, that's fine. Two people said that he made it. So Comic Games, you want to go 22? Yeah, everybody's saying he made it. I just I turned my head away from the screen for a minute, but. Sorry. It happens. <sighs> Comic kind of Games goes 22. Appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, that news stand for the Venom Lethal Protector, like, I, I never see that chops. Never. No. I've always yeah. seen the uh, direct, you know, the direct yeah. one. The news yeah. stand I never see. Appreciate that, Rag. I got you. Spot 10. Thank you so much. Trying to get this junk filled up, man. Almost there. We almost there. Hey, I got seven right. spots left. Seven spots left. Oh man. Rag said when man Rag's been around for a long time, man, supporting these auctions in the community. Appreciate that, Rag. I think I seen him in a uh Rag, where were you in? What was that with you and uh Tito? Were y'all just kicking or were y'all trying to sell some sell stuff? Yeah, I remember used to sell a lot of stuff to Rag. <laughs> I remember writing it down. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> Y'all was just kicking it, yeah. Just kicking it. Oh, Tito, man. Can I kick it? Yes, I can. Can you kick it? <laughs> Appreciate that, Rag. It, it is happening. It's actually my only statue, but I just don't have room for it. I really don't. I have absolutely no room for that statue. My wife already gave me a hard time about my Transformers collection. Mm. <laughs> she just don't understand, man. That's right. Golly. All right, so Comic Games froze. Appreciate it, Comic Games. So it goes to Poor Boy Jeffrey Stotler. Poor Boy, please send. Uh, I can ship it for six. I can ship it first class, so... Uh, just send 36. Send friends and family, please. Um, so 36 to the PayPal email at the bottom left. Please make sure you spell out strictly comics with an X at the end. And if you want, I can either confirm that I received payment in the chat, audio, or I can take a screenshot, whatever you prefer uh, me to do. <laughs> right, uh, Brian B? Hey, CC, if it was her choice, you'd have half this house filled up with shoes. All right, so we move along to uh, Adrian. Yo. Right, so we still got this buy it now. This is the Wretches Pete Lamoco Virgin Variant 100. Buy it now. It's the year of the beach. And a whole bunch of other terrible things. All right, so we got a lot. And guess what? It's all Marvel. All Marvel. That's good. 
All Marvel. It's a whole lot of Civil War. So we got 20 books here. I'm telling this is going to start at 40, guys. Start at 40. And have to be 15 ship. 20 books. So we got Civil War number one. Variant. Lego variant. And we got Civil War one. Maybe I'll be like, if you didn't there, there's another one. One, two, three, four, five. And then we skip over Civil War two. This is the pre comic book day one. Don't see that every day, but sometimes you do. I don't know. Maybe you don't. Civil War Zero. Uh, Civil War Zero, the catch phrase. Civil War number one. With the, uh, the blank cover, sketch cover. Civil War number one, the regular one. We got Civil War number two, sketch variant. And just the normal Civil War number two. And then, oh, wait, what's behind that one? Nope, oh, you can't see it yet. Civil War number three. Number three. Hey, there's the one you want too, right? <laughs> Civil War number four. Yep, number two, yeah, number four. How many things? Number five. Civil War two, number six. The Miles cover. Civil War number seven. Two, you know, Civil War two. Yeah. And then Civil War two, number eight. 20 books, guys. Including books that are hot, including the variants, starting at 40 bucks. Boom. All right, $40 starting bid. There's a lot of goodness in there, especially that number four, number one, number two, number four. Yeah, it's it's all there. It's all there. And the, they're all very fine in your mint, so if you guys are curious. Very slick a cat. Meow. You said the starting bit was 20? Yep. Two, What's the big thing about that one? Uh, isn't this the death of She-Hulk? Let me correct me. I'm wrong. I, I might be wrong. I don't know. I can't I don't, know. I don't know. But she's coming to TV. Right. You know. It's... Well, then she's immortal, she hope, you know. Immortal, she hope. Isn't there a red one, too? Uh, I don't know. Is there a red she hope? I don't know. I, I mean, don't. there should be if there isn't. <laughs> so, guys, this 20 book lot, Civil War, plenty, a couple of minor keys, minor, starting at 40 bucks. They can be yours. Yep. We have a bidder. Hey, there we go. Weapon X. All right, Weapon X. You got 20 bucks. Waiting for you to take them home. Who else is coming with me? <laughs> oh, come on. I want to. Who else is coming with me, man? Come on, man. Jan, where's Jan at? There you go. Death. <laughs> Death. Yeah. Jan. Jan, man, you coming with me, man? Come on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A lot of goodness. Oh, there you go, Big Shack. Death of Bruce Banner, number three, too. So, I mean, you guys, you're getting some goodness here. Yeah, they are. Look at you could draw on that one. Jeffrey, I just did just look up a little bit. I, I typed it in the uh, about four spaces above you. Yep. 
just remember whoever bids on stuff tonight, you were entered to win this. So oh, yeah. So yeah, don't forget. I mean, and there's three three other Star Wars books, but but hey, you know, just saying, you know, just down here. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. I get those shipped out tomorrow. I didn't even read Civil War Two. Did did you? What's that? I didn't even read Civil War Two, the second one. I mean, nobody read it. Actually. <laughs> Fun fact: nobody actually read Civil War Two. <laughs> All right, going to weapon head. Weapon. Head. All right. Congrats to Weapon X. So, um, Weapon, I'll, I'll hit you up on IG, Home Slice. There's the uh, PayPal email. Let me just got it. Yeah, I'll hit him up on IG. No big deal. All right. Um, I, I wonder if this should just be a wrap. I think the rest of the panel is just kind of done for tonight. Um, I had. You know, I'll just leave it alone. We'll just call it a wrap uh, for the night. Uh, so, unless anybody else just is just feeling, uh, uh, you know, frog, you got something else they want to do real quick. Uh, but I think I'm done. You're not done until I say you're done. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, we'll do final thoughts and shout outs. Uh, uh, Adrian, we'll, we'll go with you, man. Uh, what am I doing? What? We're doing final thoughts and shout outs. We're wrapping it up. Hi, this is Jerry Springer. Final thoughts. No. <laughs> you have to remember. Um, no, hey, thanks everybody who uh, was bidding on stuff. And uh, yeah, we uh, I do have a giveaway, so I will be doing that. Okay. Do you want to do that now? Sure. Yeah, that's fine. It shouldn't take a while. Oh, we can come back to you, whatever you want. Yeah, you, we, you can do it. You can go through everybody else first. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, thank you. You people are beautiful. The esteemed panel members, everyone. I, I love, I love you. <laughs> I appreciate you, man. All right, uh, Harold. Final thoughts and shoutouts, man. Hey again, Edwin. Thanks for having me on. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, everyone, try to have your books out by tomorrow, Tuesday at the latest. Um, it's been fun. So, hopefully, I'll see you next time. And, uh, you know, have a good evening. Thank you. All right. And you guys stick around. Uh, uh, Adrian's going to do a free giveaway here in a second. Um, who that? Who that? Final thoughts and shout outs, man. Who that? I don't think he has his earbuds in. He does not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, uh, go ahead. I'll do it for him. I got it. No. <laughs> Uh, who that? <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing we're doing final thoughts and shoutouts, man. Oh my bad, I'm working on people packages. <laughs> uh, final thoughts and shoutouts. Thank you, everyone. Um, like I said, I'll have you packages out. Some will be out Friday. I'll see you. Um, you know, tracking and stuff on Instagram. Some will be out tomorrow, and the others will be out Tuesday. So uh, thank you for having me, uh, Edwin. Thank you to the panel and everybody else who was watching. Uh, going to be going at it again Thursday. So we got Thursday around 520 Central. On uh, my channel, we have another auction going on. I think uh, Discovery Bay is going to be on with us, but it'll be me, Disco, I think. I think HM Law is going to be there, CLG, and this is somebody. Can't think right now. Oh, maybe Tacoma. But, we'll, you know, we'll see. Got some people who didn't make it last time will be there. So definitely check us out Thursday. And check out all of everybody's auctions. Sub everybody up, man. And uh, see you guys next week. All right. Thanks for uh, coming on. Congratulations to my sister. Congratulations to my sister. Mm. I'm going to be an uncle. I'll be an uncle. <laughs> <laughs> uncle dad. Uncle dad. Uncle, uncle. Dad. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Adrian, what you got, man? Uh, for the for the names or yeah for the giveaway okay yeah so for the giveaway guys it was for everybody who bid tonight so you're gonna get the first appearance of Zac Efron like I said it's not perfect but it's, it's 
be great. Well, you're going to get it and be like, what do you mean it's not perfect? <laughs> it's a first appearance, man. Got Tales of the Jedi number three. You got X Wing Squadron number three. And then you got Tales of the Jedi number four. Movie job on cover. So, yeah, that's my lovely giveaway. Um, how, should, how should we do this here? Is it just for people that 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 won items from your? Just people who bid on my stuff. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know. I mean, I I can set up a randomizer real quick if you want me to. It's pretty much set up for the raffle. But uh, whose names do you got? Or if you want to do the wheel thing, because there's really not that many names. It's up to you, man. If you want to do the wheel too, that's fine. Because like I said, it, it, there's. A lot I don't know. I don't know how to do the wheel thing, so you would have to oh. do that. Oh, good. Yeah, well, uh, just go ahead and do the uh, the ran. Well, no, because you said you already have it ready, so I don't want to mess that up. The randomizer is already ready. Just give me the names. Okay. Uh, we got HGM Law. Uh mm huh. -hmm. We got AJ Smith. Mm -hmm. We got Jeff Silversmith. He's actually got two items, so I'm gonna go ahead and give him two spots because I appreciate that. Uh, then we got G Rip, mm -hmm. and the last one is Weapon X. And that is the piece. All right, so we're gonna do this real quick, guys. Uh, let me share my screen. Good luck, to you guys. All right, so we got uh, HGM Law, AJ Smith, uh, AJ, AJ Smith, Jeff Silversmith, twice, G Rip, and Weapon X. We'll roll two dice real quick. So we'll roll Snake Eyes, we'll roll it again. Yeah, the Snake Eyes, yeah, we'll roll it again. My internet's a little slow, please forgive me. That ain't right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so the number is five. So we're going to randomize five times, and here we go. Number one. Good luck, everybody. Oh, my internet is slow. Yes. <laughs> All right, number two. Number three. Number four. Check our dice. One plus four is five. The winner is Who's it be? Oh Jeff Silversmith. <laughs> he is, yeah, he won first and second place. So congrats, to Jeff Silversmith. Let me go ahead and stop sharing. Congrats, buddy. And thank you for thank you for buying stuff from me. I appreciate it, man. So yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. So uh, show him what he won real quick, and then we'll wrap this up. You want to show them the winnings or no? Oh, I'll show what they won again. Yes, yeah, so that's that's what the that's what Jeff won extra. You got the that. Yeah, yeah. that's three. awesome. Nice little lot. Can't can't not be about that. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and close this out. Just uh, reminding everybody, got seven spots left. Uh, if anybody's interested, that being said, um, check us out here. Same bat time, same bat channel. We'll be here next Sunday for for the watch number forty five. It'll be at eight p.m. Eastern, five p.m. Central. Uh, thank you, everybody in the chat. Thanks, Bri uh, Brian B, for checking in on us and uh, everybody else. I'm not even going to start, but just thank you so much, everybody. Uh, you guys have a great week. Be safe out there, and uh, we'll see everybody here next weekend. Take care, everybody. Bye. All right.